Sleep. I have had sleep. But I've not necessarily had good sleep. Um I also bought the season pass, because I said I said I would. I bought the season pass. Um yeah. I I I I tired. I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm very, very, very tired. Um I'm very tired. <laughs> very, very, very tired. Um Additional credits. Stuff goes added down the con. Ah, okay. Anyway, it's a little bit of the gauntlet style. We've got a new boss. Deathbringer Soma. Be careful, some of attacks can cause extreme damage. Yeah. Notice that. <laughs> Let's go say your high advance, shall we? Uh, start with only a sliver of health. I wonder if this is the low HP upgrades then. We'll have a look real quick. I do like that you can see... I do like that you can see what upgrades the game gives you inside of the actual uh, thing. <laughs> low HP, but gives me a whole bunch of health boosts. Yeah, sure. Um, grip attack up to three. EX gauge two. Hmm. Uh, EX enhancer one. Okay. Got my abilities. EX charge gauge went low, but none of the actual damage up ones. Can't stay for long as I don't want to see any spoilers. Enjoy the game and hope things get better for you. There it is. The low HP, the low HP shit, and taunt all. Ooh, time to do that. So, Pycott, thank you for the 13 months, I appreciate it. Yeah, don't, uh, yeah. I'm not in the story just yet, I'm in the holy balls. I'm in the holy balls, it just gave me everything in Tiger, Crane, and Snake. Jesus. This really wants me to fucking demolish people. Alright. So, Pycott, thank you for the five gifted stars, thank you so very much. Um, this is just the, the gauntlet stuff from the, uh, the title screen. I'm very lucky I didn't get hit there. change in time. I didn't think I was going to juggle. That's damage, alright. I'll say. So that's what our low HP strats are gonna look like in the speedrun, by the way. <laughs> that is that is absolutely what our, our strats gonna be like. Tamuji, thank you very much for the 200 bits as well. Let's go back from the hospital. Well, I hope you've had a better time at the hospital than I have had. <laughs> yesterday's VOD, good luck. It's it's not that long, but all of yesterday's VOD was essentially just story, and it was just story. Uh, but I do, I do hope you had a much better time than I did. I was, I was, I was noticing today as well. You won't be able to see it on the uh, the webcam because it's at a weird angle. I'm still bruised, in both places from the blood being taken from me over a week and ago, over a week ago. I, I've literally, I've literally been bruised to hell, and it's just not going down. Um, I think something's fucking my body. <laughs> I'm surprised me. Talent enemies while staying in EX boost because press activation of EX action by holding out too, of course. Clear within the set amount of time. Do not EX boost when you use roll in failure? All battle styles can use more number of skills. Okay. Once again, taunting helps keep your boost up. Ah, Liu Mang. Okay. So I guess it's just gonna start us and we just gotta go. Yep. This is bad. Bad. Bad can be used. Oh, 
Right, bad combos. Okay. Have leapfrog. Damn, Tyra actually runs out before my EX runs out. That's an interesting one. Okay. Okay, try again. That was bad on my part. That's bad on my part. Yeah, understandable, GK. Uh, we're going up against bosses. Yeah, Snake can't disarm bosses, which I guess is understandable, honestly. Um, Wants to hit them. Like, so Did my trouble not work? Ah, should have sort of worked. Bad there. Like, I've got the upgrade that's pushing them away a little bit, which sucks. I just want to question this, sir. You'd think a speedrunner wouldn't have any problems finishing fights fast, but here I am. I think I need to use more of that. I think I need to do more of that with Tiger. Um... Bosses are a little aggressive, and I'll show you the reason why in a second uh, with one of the new bosses in the boss rush here. Um, there's a very good fight, a fight we did yesterday that you'll see in the VOD. Um, oh, my God. I'm just knocking them all away. This is not a deal. See, that's good. Yeah, they're just going down to the ground in this fight. Yeah, you need to change between the targets. I need better strats for that one. All right, so let me let me show you with this uh, <laughs> punk clothes. That's Tashiro's clothes, but purple. All right, so. Let me show you with Deathbringer Soma, because it's Snake style only. So Snake is very different. I love this fight, by the way. We already did this yesterday. I love I love this theme. This theme is so good. So, for instance, with Soma here, when you parry him, he actually gets a second follow-up attack. So some bosses are like actually programmed to have like multiple follow-ups. So you have to actually like predict what they're gonna do. A little bit of it is needing to know, you know, what the boss actually does. But like even like Soma, for example, actually parries you. Ow. I should have just parried there myself. So it's more of a in some bosses' cases, you can't just go completely ham on them. You've got to actually read them a bit. Also, I'm bleeding right now. See how I'm parrying and he's dodging? Like, he's he's reading me at the same time that I'm trying to read him. Like, that seems to be the way that bosses go in this. I actually really like Snake. Snake is good for certain boss fights, but not for others, I feel. The agony stuff and the fear stuff is very good for normal enemies. Should we play? Almost. Love this fight music, by the way. Soma's fucking fight theme is insanely good. 
But yeah, stuff like that. With ooh, fucking hell. Uh, with <laughs> good stamina, Spark. With Soma, for example, you want to go for a bit more. With Snake style, you want to go for a bit slower. You want to go for a bit, a bit more reading the fight. But for Crane style. Now, Crane is the big winner in Lost Judgment, in my opinion, because of shit like this. The fact that Crane's dodge gives you a natural speed boost is absolutely fucking insane. Like, now I'm, like, max speed, even with, like, EX. You can just constantly, like, you can just insta-dodge out of any attack as well. Like, nothing required. Crane is a big, 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 big winner in this game. Like, massive winner. Until I mess it up. <laughs> That's a cool EX move. Damage as well. So, yeah, Crane. Crane is the big winner. Crane is absolutely stunning. I got lucky boxes for good. Um, close call chainsaw. Ten the raging Akutsu and his allies, of course. Well, that styles most skills. You only start with a sliver of health. Nice. Right. Am I gonna do something so dumb as to taunt from the start of this fight? You're damn right, man. Because frankly, that guy kicks me out of it. I don't have any allies for this fight. And the enemies are throwing enemies at me again. Ah, that hit me. That's unfortunate. I'm actually in a nice place where they can't mostly hit me at the moment. Would they not let me do leapfrog stuff? What? Just hit me. Stay the hell away from him. Damn. Okay, X at this point. X now for Kutsu. Nice little hitting. One more add and then we'll take care of our chainsaw friend. That's the kind of shit that you can do in this game. Ooh! That, that is the kind of shit that you can do in this game. I absolutely, absolutely love the combat in this game. A lot. <laughs> like, I still need to refine it a little bit, but I really like it. Speedrun. Speedrun, folks. We've got to go. Yo. 
need to climb up here so you get your grip gauge back. Now, this is my only issue is that corners are a little weird and don't work like they should do. They removed the cats. Unbelievable. Get in. Alright, at least you can do it from there. Cool. Cool. Gold plane. It's a shame there's only... It's a shame there's only literally like four of them. Only default leg skills be example. A tree trunk's leg extract will be in your possession. I should be using that from the off, I guess. We'll do this one, then we'll get back into the game itself. But I really... Actually, we'll, get, we'll do one of the last ones as well. Do I have to use it from my menu? I do. Okay. Oops. Again, not good. I think it's always triangle for balls. That's a shame because he'd already ran too far because I fucked up. I don't know which way you went. Okay, good. All I remembered was in the actual game itself, he went left, so I assume he went left here. I like how that just bounced off the lamppost. Boy, this bit. <laughs> Hit him. This bit has no healing. I guess this is where you use your tree trunk extract. Because my health is uh, real low at this point. Oh, Lucia. That must be where you use it, because, yeah. Man is fucking legging it. Hot oh, damn. You have to hit him with the, uh, with the throwballs as well. Holy shit. This man... This man runs fast. So you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to fuck this up in the slightest. You miss one of the, you miss one of the kicks. That's it. God damn. All right. All right. At least I know where to use the uh, the tree trunk this time. And I guess you should probably leave the healing items until you need them on the second way around as well. I wonder if that would be a thing in Legend. That might actually be a thing in Legend as well, you know. Almost did it again, you know. Oh, fucking hell, what's wrong with me? I'm lucky. I'm very lucky there. Bonk. <laughs> Left. Left. After the ball is where I'm going to use my tree trunk. Because this is where there's, like, literally no things to pick up. Shit. 
think we'll be okay. It's going to be a little close, but we should be okay. Yeah, you are not allowed to... You are not allowed to mess up at all. Should be it. Let's get around the corner. Yep. Cool. Whew. Close. Very close. Not great. God damn. Shit's hard. It might actually be worth using that Stark. Do you actually have it for a long time, to be fair? Hot damn. Hot oh, damn. God damn. Faster than lightning. Nice. Appreciate it. Alright, what's the... What's the sale? Look, tickle down all enemies to the X boost. Two enemies within tiny time. L battle cells can be used. Number of skills. Savage slam extract in my possession. Hmm. Hey, Sanchez. Hope you're doing well. I don't know what Savage slam is. Let's have a look. Uh, the third enemy was circle and Simon's ground instead of setting attack. Greatly recovers the EX gauge on hit. Ah. There we go. <laughs> Ah, table. Oh, we have to run. Oh, shit. I thought it'd be wave based, but nope. Gotta go. Right, it's like the like the story, understood. That savage slam in a second. Damn, I'll say. Easy peasy. That extract does do work. Very nice. Very, very nice. Training long pants. I'm gonna have to go pick those up. Alright. I got two more. We'll do those again another time. Alright, so. Where were we? Here? This is where we were. Right, so this was just after we fought bloody Tesso. Tesso. Hmm. So I should have, if I look at this, I should have now. What am I looking for again? <laughs> That's a good question. What the fuck am I looking for again? Okay, so there you go. I've now got the four dates because I bought the um, I bought the DLC. Uh, I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna go eat real quick because I have no HP. You can power up your jump with the skateboard. You don't say nothing. I had no idea! My problem is that I only want to get the things that give me the bonuses. <laughs> Which isn't ideal. Give me a scone. I'm British. I need my scone and my tea. Itadakimasu. Lift up my little <laughs> finger! <laughs> Christ. Pretty excited the game gives you busted. Yeah, I'd imagine so. I'm not going to be using any of the DLC items for the obvious reasons. Um, and also... Alright, so how... How high can I jump? Oh, do I have to let it go? Whoa! I can fucking do tricks! Oh, nice trick. 
I feel very weak compared to... Sir, you put that the fuck down. Compared to the, uh, the last couple of things we just did, I feel very weak all of a sudden. Lots of drops from the enemies now. Though. Oh, the free one the homeless man gives you? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's one of those that... It's one of those that... I don't know, like... I'm just wondering if it's worth getting, like... I wonder if it's worth going out of our way to grab. Because we're going to be pretty strong in the run, as is. Maybe on maybe on the harder difficulties. This area is just a hotbed of fucking fight spawns. Leave me alone. Woo, look at that. Can we do it on turn rail? No. <laughs> Who knew we were so good at skate tricks? All right. Grab a uh, cheap ass DLC. So I'll see more attacks maybe worth it. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Because ah, actually, it's not too far out of the way. Is it really? 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 Like when we come back to Yokohama with Kaito, we're on the other side of the station, so we could easily get over there with the USB memory. We're very, very close to it. So. え、じゃあ、カイトさん、その相馬ってやつに脇腹をナイフで刺された。クワナを追いかけてて、相馬と勝ち合ったんだ。俺も正直危なかった。相馬一人にやられるとこだったの。Uh, he exploited my one weakness. He called me on the phone. Kuana no toen dat tu master ni ubarete. Sono USB memory o yokosu yo ni ubareta. Sono naka o mireba. Kuana no shotai to mokteki ga wakaru rashi. Ima hirai te mimashita ga. Nakami wa data file ga hitotsu hai te iru dake desu na. Naiyo wa? Douga desu ne. I love videos. It's gonna be it's gonna be a YouTube poop, isn't it? Eh, nandaro. Sugoi doki doki suru nda kedo. Kind of way to great when to great lengths to keep this video a secret. What are we about to see? Full screen ni shimasu. You know, you could have hit space twice for full screen. Oh, it's bullying. Fucking school kids. Mitsuru? Mitsuru? The guy on the right is clearly the guy from the cabaret bar they were all after. The girls bar guy, Kawai. Like he's got the same facial kind of chin and then the glasses, obviously. <laughs> yeah, Kitakara is Kuana's name. I'm assuming this is Kuana getting beat up, as we'll find out in a second. Christ, that is... It's hard to sit through. And yeah, Suzuki was her maiden name before she married. There's somebody, there's somebody else who got physically bullied. Yeah, that's, that's fucking hard to sit through. So 
最悪だこいつら楠本満のストリップとそう言ってましたね楠本満と言えば oh, he's the kid who's in the coma. 13年前の黒川学園沢先生の同級生で校舎から飛び降りた子だ厚労省事務次官楠本玲子の息子でしたねそして30歳になる今に至るも昏睡状態が続いていますこの動画は楠本満がいじめを受けてた時のおそらくは隠し撮りされたものでしょう Now the question is is she gonna be involved because、ね、Yeah because we had We had the strip club guy Kawana there We had セイレーンのマスターは The person in the groping incident there Kawana の正体も動機もわかると言ってた Hmm ちょっと失礼この辺り主だったメンバーの顔が映っています yeah, so as we, as the game is about to point out to us 状況を整理してみませんか矢上氏 Exactly screamer that is that is the big question わかったよ That is the big question. So we know. Have you can find what we need in this video? Seems likely considering it was hidden and sought after. Well, again, as we said, we know this is. Oh, that's the Suzuki Everything's coming together. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm g o i n So, she's a maiden name 13 years later. Her name is currently Yui Mami. s a y i s h i r a z a k i I hope not. Mami, I hope not. 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 マミヤユイで間違いないでしょう。マミヤさん、一体どういう人なんだ。そもそも世間的に楠本満へのいじめ関係者は可愛い子や一人だとされていました。しかしこの動画を見ると実態は明らかにこれまでの情報と違っています。実は10人近い生徒がいじめに関わっていて、マミヤユイもそのうちの一人だった。ああ。もしこの動画が世に出たらマミヤユイもここに映ってる生徒たちもみんなまずいことになる。I think we're either going to be going to the hospital or we're going to go and see the vice director of health. 今日まで昏睡状態にしておきながら<笑>自分たちは知らん顔で暮らしてた。そんな風にバレたら社会的にも。Because if k w a n a s in this video, he's very clearly not Yui Mamiya. He's very clearly not Kawaii. Which only leaves one, out, one option.、Hmm? Huh? Bigger guy's acting like the main bully. I've seen this face before. Ah, and this guy died five years ago? So basically, it sounds like there's. A group of people. It sounds like there's a group of people going to find the bullies from before and killing them. Sounds like it mixed up in all this because of Kawai's case. No, I can't see a connection there yet. If we learn more about Kawana or his past, I'm sure I can make some sense out of this. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh. うん、僕は見たことなさそうです。僕もわからないな。思い出した。誰？ニコシバヒロの下や現場にいた。その時いた。いや、his face is more full of him。全員の卒業生。Son of a bitch。いや、it's all connected。神奈川県警の刑事に身分証を見せてた。名前は確か赤池って。するとこういう言い方ができますかね事件の周辺にいた人物たちが振り返ってみるとみんなこのいじめ動画に映っているとああ問題はそんな動画をなんで食わないのうん
Despite jumping off the school's roof 13 years ago, Mitsuru Kusuma is still clinging to life. まだ厚生労働省に勤める無名の一官僚でした。詳しくは分かりませんが、夫とは早くに別れてたようですね。彼女は息子を女で一つで育てていたのです。ねえ、もしかしてその楠本さんと別れた旦那っていうのが桑名
嫌でもミツル君の話をすることになるだろうからねこちらには鈴木結衣さんが映っていますねやはり先ほどの動画に映っていた女子生徒です yep, her, right? 彼女も楠本ミツルのいじめ自殺に加担した一人だったこのページに映ってる子たちの何割かはさっきの動画に映ってたわけでしょ the the ああでも、河合信也は映ってないんだ。Yeah, good point. Is he a different class? うん。本当だね。映ってない。河合は、みつるくんの飛び降り後、いじめ加害者として叩かれ、yeah, 自主的に退学したはずです。ネットの書き込みにはそうありました。裏取りはできてませんが、自然な成り行きであったろうと思いますな。本当は他にも叩かれるべきいじめ加害者がいたのに、カワイ以外の全員が罪を免れた。Look at this yearbook a bit more. Does anything stick out as strange? Well, honestly, the teacher. これは。Kind of look at the date, but yeah, it's about nine with big sorts. Home teacher at times look the other way, turn not to overdo it. I know that thanks to Sawasen. その時の担任は。ミツル君がいじめられているところを見てもそんなに深刻じゃないと思ってました笑いながらやりすぎんなよと見過ごしていたんです後で世間のバッシングを受けて教職を追われましたん教職を追われたどうしたの八神さん楠本ミツルの飛び降りで当時の担任は偉いそばにすんだその後教職を追われたって聞いてるうんそれでだとしたらこのアルバムの担任って辞めた先生の後に来た代わりの先生ってことはないかなるほど Don't tell me これはありえる話ですね,ねバッシングされた担任の名前を調べてみますアルバムに載ってる先生とは別人かもしれません少し時間をくださいヤガミシー、ワカリマシタ、クスモトミツルノモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモトモト Shtick in this is. We don't know that yet. So, Kuana s a w Motoa, Koko Koshi. He's got to have some deeper meaning other than hey, I'm a random yakuza. That's him. That is 100% him, alright. <laughs> nice hair, my dude. He's got that certain kind of side flip. So, Sulto, Sawa Sensei Mokono Kuras <laughs> Nitandakara. 彼女にとってもクワナは担任の教師だそれが二人の接点だったんだ He aged with grace そういうことだったのですねクワナさんがすべてをつなぐキーマンだった十三年前ミツル君の飛び降りで学校を辞めた北方優はその後クワナジンって便利なこと言ったのが、そのとき頼ったのが、当園だったセイレーンのマスターだ。クワナは積極的に裏社会とも関わろうとしてたらしい。そして何か目的意識が強い。目的意識が強い。それってどういうクワナ stopped teaching because a student of his attempted suicide. What was he after when he went underground? Get revenge on the bullies. いじめ加害者への復讐だ。クワナはそもそも生徒たちがいじめなんてしなければ教職を追われずに済んだって思ったのかもな。で、その怒りの矛先がかわいいし、かわいいのはどうなるほど。確かかわいは5年前、カムロスを入れたらしきだんだんだんだんだんだ Was it the same bullies or was it Kuana? Kuana san d o t t a n Kano say to Steva Artomo. Sonokeka Kawaiyo Sagashima Teta Arkega 
5年前の桑名の存在に気づいたのかもそしてその時の事情を聞きたくて偉人町まで桑名を追ってきたああそれなら RK が偉人町に来た理由になりますねまた河合の知人らしき男女っていうくらいだから桑名さんの他にも何人かいたんだよねそれってもしかしてああ If they knew Kawhi somehow, the evidence we've gathered so far should give us a clue. The evidence gathered so far should have clues on who knew Kawhi. I mean, we knew, obviously, Sawa Sensei knew. This is it. Oh, you're in there, you guys? Kawhi was a friend of Kawhi. I don't think it's a mistake to say that. But... Why do you think these guys are Kawhi? Hmm... Kawhi was asking for help. No... He was asking for help. What do you mean? Look, this video is like Kawhi was trying to hide the camera. But... If you look at the camera, you don't want to show the camera to the camera. You don't want to show the camera to the camera. Maybe he thought he was trying to save people and didn't realize it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's the Yakuza a rule of where's the body. Yeah, exactly. It's the Yakuza rule これは家まで押しかけたことがある。もし川井を拉致した中に彼女もいたなら、面白い話が聞けるかもしれない。そうですね。今、矢上氏が語ったのは神室町と偉人町の事件をつなぐ一つの仮説です。ですが、間宮優
なんかどんどん体が冷えてったなぁと思ったら松金の親父にどやされてたまだ俺が駆け出しの頃の記憶だハブラの会長にどう詰めるかって睨んできててよで俺の代わりに東が泣いてんだ<笑>死ぬ前ぐらいもうちょっといい記憶見たって良さそうなもんだろなあ<笑>きっと本当に死ぬ時はいい思い出が見られるよ思ったより元気そうでよかったそうもの野郎次やったらただじゃ済まさねえ不意打ちさえされなきゃ沢先生の敵も取れたのによ相馬に刺されたこともう警察に話したああ刑事が来たんでな<笑>あることないこと言ってやったぜそれはダメでしょう<笑>冗談だよ言ったのは真実だけだ俺を刺したのは沢先生を殺したのと同じ犯人だってなななら多分相馬が捕まるのは時間の問題だ。Somehow feel like that's not gonna happen. それとは別に、俺らはクアナを追う。あいつが一連の事件をつなぐキーマンだ。RK に捕まる前に、俺らで見つける。クアナか。しかしあの野郎、ムカつくねえ。んあいつが俺らに近づいてきたのは、結局、何か魂胆があったってことだろ多分。ターボーがミコシバの殺しを調べてたからだこっちは腹割って付き合ってやってたのによ俺はターボーの添えもんかそんなことないって<笑>くそ野郎の正体も割れて<笑>これからって時に<笑>俺はこのざまか<笑>とにかく今は休んでなってつくもも後でお見舞いに来るってさなんだよ杉浦は来ねえのかあいつはこれから俺と間宮結衣を直撃するんだ偉人町から運転手もしてくれるってさしゅうへばっちゅうかめないないの I actually want to do. I want to do a little bit of、uh, the robots before we actually before we actually go. I want to do a little bit of old robotics club. What's my webcam? Just a tiny, tiny bit of robot club because we haven't actually we haven't actually、um, done that yet. I、oh, know I'm not getting them out of the、uh, the letter box on purpose at the moment. So. Achievement for doing that like a certain number of times.、Yeah! I'll look at the trophy list once we've completed the game. I'm looking at it before for obvious reasons. Oh. I'll get into fight with these guys before I lose my drop rate bonus. Hey, I'm gonna fight. Definitely a bit more. Ooh, 10k yen. Not bad. I definitely need a bit more in terms of damage at this point.、Uh, oh, we're close to that. We might as well get Bristol's hat level 4, honestly. Like, we're, we're a couple of hundred off. We'll probably get that in a, a round of robots or something.、Um, jump out of bounds? Probably not. We'll have to, we'll have to test, but I, I, I don't think so. Then again, it's very easy to go out of bounds in zero and. Well, not very easy, but it's, it's easy to go out of bounds in K1. Just walk against a certain NPC, after all. What the Japanese test? Oh, baby. Oh, crap, I totally forgot. Haha, <laughs> same here, I just remembered it's today. Well, you two are flunking, that's for sure. 
Ah, fellow failure, I suppose we have the review session to look forward to. Huh? I'm not failing, I did pretty well on my midterms. Direct. Thus ends the fellowship. <laughs> the fellowship of the failures. Where Frodo has to throw his exam results into the into the fires of Mordor. Alright, where's the should be on the third floor this way, question mark. I do like as well how like all the talk in the school has now become obviously like about Sour Sensei, etc. It is not this side, this is girl principal. Hey, how you doing? Alright, good talk. <laughs> Alright, good talk. <laughs> My, there's a, oh, it's on the floor above me right here. Okay. Ah, interesting. There's new talk spots in the school. Oh. Ah. Put in one up here. Ah. And that fire door by the stairwell. Oh, the emergency exit. I accidentally leaned on it and it started opening on me. Crap, are you serious? I shoved it closed again, but man, did I panic. I better be careful around that thing. Oh. Say that again. Whereabouts? Fire door by the stairwell. I mean... This one? <laughs> it's... Fake question mark? <laughs> hmm. Anything in the boys' room before we go fight robots? No. I just wanted my used condoms again, but... Alas. Hello, fellow weebs! Well, I guess nerds would be more accurate in this one. Time to see what everyone's <laughs> up to. Perfect. Takamori and Kuro Mizaki are right on Sakura. schedule. Sakura, how's everything on your end? Were you able to fix that bug you reported the other day? The one sort of the machine's mobility? Oh, um, well... No, to be honest, it hasn't been fixed yet. <sighs> Another failure in communication? It's the third time you didn't report in. How many times do I tell you? Always be in contact. A, B, C. We have a modern day Sagawa on our hands here, because that's the exact same thing he says in Yakuza Zero. I'm, I'm sorry. Mm. Communication reporting sounds more like running a business. Okitegawa. Yo, look at Gawa. Need a hand with anything? Hmm. A hand, you say? Well, let's see. Right, then I'd like to ask if you'd customize the robot. Mm -hmm. You think I'm made of money? That's my money. i got to customize my drone first. Fuck you. You know, changing up the robot's parts configuration, you can adjust its performance that way. Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. Look at go. You know this guy's not mature with robots, right? Where does he get to customize it to? Sit down. Maneuverability isn't based on logic. It's based on feel. And it's simply more efficient to implement the opinions of one who actually operates the thing. They get that, but it's just weird. You're putting too much in his hands. Takamori. Let me put it this way, Takamori. A robot's parts are to an operator what shoes and gear are to an athlete. The operator knows which parts improve a robot's mobility and offense by getting a proper feel for it. It's actually a good analogy. That's why this era robotics club has valued operator feedback for generations. Oi, oi. Yeah, but still. It's the optimal solution, Takamori. <laughs> Fine, damn it. Yagami san. Anyway, Yagami san, why don't we give it a try? Bah! Now about robot customization. When customizing you develop new parts and parts development, you can also change the configuration of your robot's parts and parts arrangement. Let's go ahead and try customizing. First, we should aim to develop the parts of higher performance than the current robot's parts. Developing parts require materials and oh, fuck me. You can obtain materials as a reward from mining matches. You may even be able to utilize some items on you as materials as well. If there are belongings you no longer need, feel free to provide them. As far as funding is concerned, it will be covered by the robotics club. I'll leave the development decision up to you, Yagami Sam. Just keep in mind you'll be limited by the club's funds. Oh. Half a million. Can't I just use my own money at this point? Prepare some materials from the robotic club for free to develop parts you see fit. Okay. So. Yeah, it's just parts you can get all around. I've only got three dull. I've only got three dull, animal, dull aluminium in the entire fucking game. Is this a Yakas or like a Dragon Speedrun? Also, I apparently have a balanced motor, so. Wait. I'm glad that says weapon at the top, because I'm looking at it, and I'm just thinking... Gun? <laughs> Give me a battery. 
Ooh. A very hopeful music for young budding robotic men. Man's Jesus. See, so the machine was lacking those parts. Next one, you fix the parts just developed. Now give me sound set new developed parts onto the robot. That's not it. This is gonna. I have another part, you know. This is gonna be very long-winded, isn't it? Jesus Christ. So this is how it works. I think I get it. After we receive the results of the scrimmage, we look into the necessary cat measures and include any fixes in the development cycle. If you'd like any parts made on your end, please let us know. Yagami-san, Kurumazaki can draw them up for you. Oh, God, no. Rearranging parts, you can change parts, configuration of the robot. Total cost to the parts exceeds cost of the robot's performance to drop during the match. So, you know, like, you can't equip too many on, like, your pocket circuit car. By spending materials on funds, you've new parts. As many taken from the robot as close funds, it won't come out of Yagami's own wallet. Does that mean the robot's performance hinges on Kurumazaki Kun's design abilities? Uh, oh, no, so... it's not like that. I just design whatever the president tells me to. Mm -hmm. so. Well, in any case, sounds like I'll be asking for you to make a bunch of stuff for me. Look forward to working together. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep, definitely one of the shy ones. Focus. This is gonna be very in-depth. This is gonna be as in-depth as the... I wanted to do the robot, but all of a sudden they don't want to speak to me. Oh, hello. I don't know why ass and boob shot. Alright. They're never that cheeky little robot nerd. He thinks he can just go and hire an outside counselor? Hey, that's me! Hey, I'm hot. Hmm? Aren't you from the MRC? Yagami this. I'm Yagami. I just started as the robotics club outside counselor, too. I'm aiming for entire school domination by gaining control of every single club. I am the professor. Oh my, that means you're him. My name is Yukari Akita. I'm the advisor of the robotics club. Dokorode. She certainly changed her tune fast. You got business with them? I think no one told you an outside council was coming. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. I guess you heard me. Yes, isn't that just awful? <laughs> Oh, right. If you're here as a counselor, would you have time for a chat? Perhaps just over yeah. there? Yeah, let's do that. I'm trying to speak to the teacher who's the acting advisor. Oh, God. Seems like a lot of vibes from that music. Yeah, actually. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. All right, many students around right now. It's a great spot to relax and talk. Okay, time to ask Akita Sensei about the robotics club. I know. So, I've been hearing the robotics club members and the advisor don't get along too well. Yes, you heard right. Any time I go check on the, on the club's activities, they pretend I don't exist. It's incredibly frustrating. Mm. Why is it like this? Probably because I was against letting them enter the RE Robo Rally. Oh. Really? Why not give them your support? It's not the kind of tournament an ordinary high school robotics club like ours should be competing in to begin with. They're, they'll only embarrass themselves. That's not your call to make. Participants include researchers from technical schools, colleges, and even companies. All of whom are highly knowledgeable and well-funded. Yeah, this is not your call to make. Let them get the shit beat out of them. It's a life lesson. It makes them angrier. They keep that anger until they're an adult, and then they build bloody Gundams. That's how this works. But didn't they take part in a robotics contest last year, too? That time, it was all in the name of good fun. But Okita Gawakun is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After he took over as president, he managed to lock down a sponsorship. If they lose now, they'll have the whole world laughing at them. なるほど. Again. Yeah, and don't get me started on all the late nights they put into preparing for this thing. As their advisor, I'm required to work overtime with them, which I don't even get paid for. <laughs> and as white all this, as soon as I show my face in that club room, they ignore me. They're rude, and it just gets under my skin. Mm. Ah. The friction between the advisor and the club really runs deep. Dokorode. It's Ogitakawa kid. We chatted while the club was in session, and he seemed like a model student. Well, he certainly is a wonder. The robotics club really turned around thanks to him. The previous members were just a bunch of kids who loved robots. The club was more of a hobby to them. They'd pop in from time to time, and they'd be reading manga, taking naps, things like that. Yeah. Well, more like a crazy, lazy culture club. So you can imagine why I admired Dr. Gawakun's razor sharp gumption at first. Gumption? He changed up the system so just four members could build a high quality robot, plus he brought in major funding from a shopping district. Did I mention those funds totaled over a million yen? Now we're down to half. Hmm. Yeah. Someone's been buying bentos. Over a million? That's incredible. So that, uh... And a shopping district would dish out that much. Is it a Jin? Is it in, in, in yeah. a Jin show? No, it's apparently where Okutagawa's from, a shopping district in Tokyo. Acquaintances of his whom he somehow persuaded. Ha. Huh. Huh. He's really something. Well, good for now. I just want to fight robots. That's a bunch of actors. Sensei, I think you answered pretty much everything I have wanted to know. Glad to hear it, as long as it helps. I just want to, I just want to punch robots. You want to make you just anger your local robot high school club? Yeah, yeah pretty much. 
you think Yagami Sensei? Do you think you can win over the robotics one? Mm. Honestly, I still sense some pretty big walls up between us. I wouldn't doubt it. Those kids really don't like adults. Yare, yare. Yeah, it's common for kids that age. I'm always thinking adults like us can't possibly understand them. Uh. Or, you know, maybe it's because you won't let them enter the RE Robo Rally. <laughs> Whew, well, I feel much better after getting all that off my chest. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to fuck off and not give a fuck about them. Bye bye. Guess I could sense they really needed to vent. I want to play with robots. Let us do the robots. Yeah. Fuck! Yagami san. Okay, Yagami san, let's head to the scrimmage. Will you like, any feedback you give us to develop for future Ooh. modifications? Good. There we go. Unlock new parts. Alright, what do we got? Customized parts development. What do we got? Fucking hell. Six defense. Special effect prioritizes actions that capture and defend territory. You cannot equip multiple AI modules at the same time. I don't have any mobile basic supports. All these assault basic supports. All the no, I do have fortress basic supports. Where the fuck did I get those from? Hmm. I have three of these batteries. Can I not just you know recycle them? Uh, speed motor. I've got a lot of these motors actually. I have one of like all of these apparently. Ah, the hammer. Good. Enhance output. It has output by ten percent. Okay. I don't have the data. Move speed, rotation speed, melee attack, damage reduction, shield optimization. So basically, the only thing that I can actually buy is this. I can't, because I don't have the Fortress Basic reports. I have a question. Two seconds before we go into this. Two seconds. Just want to check something. That's what I was worried about. <laughs> so, for the 100%, you need to build all the parts, which I'm going to assume. Damn it. There's two of them. There's now two of them. There's now two of them. Fuck me. <laughs> There's now fucking two of them. Oh. Alright. What are we... Wait, you said I had one, but apparently don't have one. Calling bullshit right here. Anyway, where are we... Where is, where is the thing? Didn't I not have a thing? Am I crazy? So it says have... Oh, that's how many... That's how many they have, not how many I have, apparently. I think. I really want a hammer. I just want a fucking hammer. Is that so much to ask? Oh, there it is. It's the oh, these are the AI types. If I press the L1 and R1, I would figure this out. Dumbass. We have to make all three robots. Fuck my life. Oh my god. You know what? I'm just gonna begin. If we lose, we lose. Oh my god. 324 parts total. Good. God. That's a lot of materials. Thank God you can get the material ops from the restaurants. And we take the dog out for a walk constantly. Which is the boost. Boost! Shit, shit. It's gonna get there before me. You think you're leaving? You think I'm going to let you leave? You dumb shit. Goodbye. Yosh. Yosh. Why are they missing one of the robots? Deus. Oi, 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 oi. So much. Yosh. Yosh. I don't know if rushing their base is a smart idea or not. You wanna, like, actually stop them? I should take out that guy, because he's their main builder. Please let me build. You don't get to go backwards. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
gosh. I still don't fully know, you know, what that shitty hack I'm supposed to be doing, but I go slow on the enemy parts. EX, I got yeah. this. You're, you're slow as hack, my dude. How do I... Whoa, what the... Hey, hey now. The shit that... What the... Excuse me? What the hell just happened? Why are we... What the hell? Someone please get that. Are you kidding me? I gotta take out Phantom's their main builder. I don't know what you're doing in this corner, but you can stay there. Yes. <laughs> What is that? Is what the fuck? I could just lost. Why do I feel like my AI are absolutely useless? How the fuck I pulled that back, I don't ever know. What the fuck? I feel like my AI is absolutely terrible. EX did stuff. I guess Mach Machina got me blocks, I guess. Their Mirage was terrible. Thank God for that. If their Mirage was actually decent, we'd have died. What the shit? Ten sex hmm. Machina. I see what you did there. I will not comment further. Everything appears to be running hmm. smoothly. Does it, though? It doesn't seem to be moving at all. Not sure why. Oh. What? Uh... Not good. Not even a peek. Hmm. How strange. Oh. Oh, could it be? Sakura. Sakura, do you know something about this? Uh, well, actually, there's still this bug where it won't accept any inputs. Huh? What? You haven't fixed it yet? But, but, it still moved afterwards. And I tried over and over to reproduce the bug, but I couldn't. Programming in a nutshell. I didn't have time for the scrimmage. I thought it'd be fine. Uh, why didn't you report it? What was your plan if the bug popped up during a match? If this was the real deal, then what? Uh, I, I'm sorry. Identify the bug and solve it by the next scrimmage. Yes. I don't mean to keep repeating myself, but I'll say it again. Always be in contact. Remember that. Mm. I mean, it's true that failing to report something could be a problem. I still feel kind of bad for the kid. Are you okay, sakura -kun? Why am I like this? Why am I always like this? Oh, excuse me. Oh, my teamwork went up to free. You improved your leadership. More school story progress available. Check the school diary for details. Don't mind if I do. <sighs> Why? Why won't you move? <laughs> Sakura-kun, what's going on? Sobbing. Sakura-kun. Sorry, I can't help out. I just don't know much about programming. Mm. He's really backed into a corner, huh? <sighs> oh boy. This is indeed a problem. We can't even have a scrimmage in this state. Okitegawa, <laughs> do you know what's causing the bug? Mm. I gave it a look, but I couldn't identify the cause of the issue. Mm. Gotcha. Programming, huh? There is one person who knows a thing or two about that. May have gotten rejected once already, but maybe I can ask again. We're off to the NRC. Is this going to be... Oh, NRC progress, then? Oh! Exclamation mark, question mark? Messages. Something rather interesting appeared in one of the school's courtyard's walls. What? Something related to the professor. You'll find it near the back of the school. New club? New club? So I'm guessing then... Excuse me. I'm guessing then that your clubs aren't tied to progressing a singular club, but it was for the dancing because that's all we had. So I'm guessing that our club... Uh, our club opening is based on the stuff to the left. So because our teamwork is free, we now have access to this. And when we get like a peel and focus up and guts up, we'll gain access to these, for example. Interesting. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go see what's in the walls, shall we? The walls have eyes, after all. We're now done with robots forever. <laughs> Fuck the robots. What have the robots ever done for us? All right. 
Is it the guy selling the drugs? Because if it's this guy selling the drugs, I already know about it. <laughs> I already, I already know this guy sells me drugs. Oh right, we have to use the we have to use the movement speed extract at some point. Don't fuck the robots. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Don't fuck robots. Ah, I'm guessing it's this person down here. What the heck? <gasps> Graffiti? On my school property? Only if you were in roller blades at the time. Is this going to be a voice cut here? Usually no. they are. What's this? Your Jincho hounds. Oh. What are those graffiti art things? Remember Amasawa mentioning it in a message. Isn't this the professor? Yeah. I bet the Jincho hounds did this. The Jincho hounds? Uh. Hey, you want to tell me who the Jincho hounds are? No, we don't knock to no teacher. They're a skateboarding group. I think we're about to find out what our skateboard points get us. Uh. Skateboarding? What do they have to do with the professor? There's a rumor that they use professor as the motive for their graffiti art. Is this supposed to be the professor? It's just a rumor. Wouldn't Anasawa sound know more about that? Uh. Good point. I'll try asking her. Oh, great. Just what I needed. <laughs> yeah, more more to clean up, I'm afraid. Good luck, lads. Alright, so Amasawa. Skateboard club. I'm, I'm down for a skateboard club. I'm okay with this. This is the good shit. Amasawa should be here, right? Wait, new conversation. You're conversing about. What are you conversing about? No, I've seen your bed conversation before. That's not new. How dare you. Where's the guy with the leather jacket? Standing right here, you know. New advisor for the MRC. Really? Man, why can't Michael get someone like him? I just wait until I get my guts up and maybe. He's kind of hot. Oh, no. Maybe I should switch to his club. Oh, no. Robots. The MRC is basically a glorified book club. Okay, maybe not then. Ha ha. Hear about the murder? I'd be surprised if anyone hasn't heard about the murder. Double, double substory markers right here, baby. Jeez. Which one goes first? Hello? Mm hmm? Huh? Eto. Uh, who's this? Oh, hey, Yagami-san. It's the former advisor from the MRC, Mikuru Iomori. Oh, the one who resigned? Nice to meet you, I'm Yagami. Likewise, I hear you're taking good care of Amasao and the other club members. Dokoro de. Hope so. What brings you around, though? Well, haven't you seen it? The graffiti drawn on the back of the school. Yeah, supposedly. It's a depiction of the professor. The student who drew it used to be in my class. Yeah. What? Really? The other students seem to think it was some sort of delinquent who did it. Jitsula. Yagami san, I should tell you. Sensei's former student, Shikishima kun, is a member of the Ajincho Hounds. Oh, so there's the connection. <laughs> there it is. Hey, Jinjo Hounds are graffiti of the professor. This could be useful intel. Go. The Jinjo Hounds are a bunch of students who enjoy skateboarding. But yes, people think of it as a group of delinquent kids. Shinosuke Shikishima is a member and also a current third year at Sabio High. Yeah, that's him, alright. I heard it drawn flashy graffiti on the school's wall and knew how to hurry over here. Mm -hmm. Got a photo? Yes. I'm passing by, caught him in the axe, and sent it to the school. But certainly Shikishima can draw in the graffiti. There. Apparently, he's barely attended his classes for the past few months. Instead, he's been hanging out with the Ajincho Hounds. A rival group has entered the picture, too. And he's supposed to be at odds with these other delinquents called the Blue King. Oh, boy. Go on, then. Was he a good student? I'd say he was, just average. Oof. His grades are pretty good, but he didn't stand out or anything. If his grades are good, that doesn't make him an average student. That makes him a good student. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's actually how going on quite just average, and he wasn't a troublemaker, so he had that going for him too. That sounds like a fucking great student to me. What is your problem? He says he's supposed to be studying for his exams. He said he's going to attend a regular four-year college after graduation. Mm. <laughs> it's for average. Yeah. From what I've heard so far, he doesn't seem like the type who joined a delinquent group and get into graffiti. Exactly, and that's why I was shocked to hear it myself. However, however, Shikishima kun didn't talk about himself that much. Honestly, I couldn't tell you the first thing about his goals or his hobbies. Even during career counseling sessions, all he would tell me is that he would figure out his future while he was in college. Mm. So he wasn't thinking half as many steps ahead as, say, Amasawa. <laughs> That's right. I had everything planned out when I was three years old. <laughs> I 
What's this blue king you mentioned earlier? Ian Mirror Sensei. Juvenile delinquents who got together mainly to skateboard. They seem to be from Jincho's old school skater groups. And thus, they own a lot of the turf in Jincho. Just imagine Tony Hawk fucking turns up out of nowhere. To a skater group, the only turf that matters are locations around the city suitable for skateboarding. Naruhodo. Ah, so they need a certain type of terrain to practice their tricks. I wonder if it's Hanakita Park. Well, there can't be many of those. And amidst all this, Shikishima Kun has apparently been raiding the Blue King's turf as a member of the Jincho Hounds. So that, uh... Can you define what qualifies as a raid here? Well, the Blue King basically uses graffiti to mark ownership of their turf. Christ, it is actually Jet Set Radio on skateboards. They have a young Blue King as their motive. Yagami-san. Here's a picture of it, Yagami-san. Yeah. I can see where the name comes from. Sasuruni. It supposedly represents a young delinquent king who reigns over a Jincho. And blue is, of course, a very royal colour. Yes, and Shikishima couldn't have just gone around drawing over their graffiti on their own turf. Tsumari. He's doing that with an image of the professor. Speaking of that, take a close look at this one, Yagami-san. It's a drawing of the blue king. But everything drawn over it is graffiti from the Jincho hounds. Oh. Oh. You're right. So the message is the king on the throne is being dragged down by the professor. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely defiant. It's got such a humor in it, too. Yeah, the professor is the new icon of delinquent use, superseding the king of yesteryear. Mm. And I think one way to interpret it is that the, the professor is declaring war on the blue king. Yeah, no wonder the blue king guys aren't happy. Yes, Honey, if you want to stop right now. Yeah, my dinner's coming back up. This is bad. <laughs> Give me a second here. Whew. Rules. I need a ruler to take rules. <laughs> what do you mean the rules are straight up? And one point it's the possible GPA if you're taking honors or college prep classes. Interesting. Huh. I know with uh, the UK, or at least it was when I was going through school a good fucking fifteen odd years ago. Um, you could go. You could finish your. You, you basically in in the UK you have primary school and secondary school. So primary school is like ages like six to fuck me. I think it's like twelve or eleven, something like that. And then secondary school is all the way up to like sixteen. And you can take on um, you can take on A levels after that, which is kind of like a step between school and college. And those A levels give you extra points towards college, and then college gives you points towards university and then university gives you £50,000 of debt that you'll never recover from. Good luck. Uh. Crazy. Well, how is the Jincho Hound's graffiti? Is it highly appreciated or something? Uh. It seems so. And that's why the Blue King's left with no choice but to tactically improve. Why doesn't the Blue King just paint over it again? Yeah. I heard they did that once and took a lot of heat for it. They were firmly told that they were whack. <laughs> so it sounds like Shikishima Kun is something of an artist. I still can't believe Shikishima can have such talent. His art grades were average at best. All I'm gonna say is that this school better have a goddamn Mahjong club, and if it does, you're losing me. Well, Yamori Sensei, what would you like us to do? I'd like for you to look into the, exactly why Shikishima can suddenly join a delinquent group. And to persuade him to leave, if possible. Hey. Okay. I'll do what I can. Hey, Yagami-san, I think the best approach would be to go undercover, since you're so good at it. Think you can handle a skateboard group? How do you do? Fellow kids. Uh. What? But it's a bunch of kids, isn't it? It's only just stroll up and ask them how they're doing. I'd really stick out. <laughs> I'm sure you'll figure out a way to blend in somehow. Uh. Let's hope so. Look, we know there's a chance the Jinchu Hounds the Professor are connected. So if you gain those kids' trust, you might be able to extract some really valuable information. Okay, where would I find the Jinchu Hounds? I'm going to hang out in Hamagita Park. Well, got, got it. We're off to Hamagita Park. Let's go. <laughs> Listen, fuck Robot Club. We're gonna we're gonna come back to Robot Club later. For now, I wanna I wanna see what Skateboard Club is like. I like how Skateboard Club is just basically a bunch of delinquents so far. Huh. Sixth form, which is not uh, college. Ah, my bad. It's been it's been a long fucking time. <laughs> it's been a long fucking time. My eye is. Where I'm tired, my left eye is like massively blurry today, which sucks. I'm not gonna see. It might be a glasses day. I might have to get the glasses out. Your conversation? No. There's supposedly a conversation around here. Damned if I can find it though. Alright, where the blue bloody hell are these gosh darn kids? Ow. I like how you, like, if you hold that too long, you actually fail. 
Down the right. Woo! Purple gang, you wanna fight? Hey. 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 Hey! Oh, I'm still being chased by them, that's why. Can I use... Can I use this? Oh, I was hoping to use that as a EXE action. <laughs> Bonk. Man's not dead. Definitely in need of a little more damage. I remember on hard, but like. Yeah, definitely need a bit more damage. Alright, let's go join the skateboard club. How do you do, fellow kids? The nice boards, my dudes. I'm here to hang. What if these kids are the Jinchou Hounds, that skateboarding group? The, hell, the evil eyed boy, great. The hell do you want? Yeah. You guys are Jinchou Hounds? What if we are? How do I join? I'm a skater too. <laughs> huh? How old are you? You don't look a high schooler. Mm -hmm. Oh, is there an age limit for skating? Well, no, not really. Then what's the problem? Me too. Hey, Mitsui, you wanna check out this guy's skateboarding skills? There he is. There's our runaway student. Shikushima. Oh, so this kid is shikushima <laughs> It is true there's no age limit to skating, and it would help us a lot to have an adult in the group. Hmm, I mean, I guess. What's your name? Yagami. You the leader? We don't really have leaders. But Shikushima and I have just been running things lately. Naruhodo. Organization with a fine structure. I like that. Well, let's see if you have the basics down. Follow me. Oh, oh shit, it's time for a skate off. Oh, fuck me, look at this place! Sick! Is this the- this looks like the warehouse harbor from LED. Skate park, this is where we practice to show or show off our sickest moves. They have skateboards for rent too. Uh. Hey, what's that? Stance of the Blue King. This park belongs to the father of this guy named Shioda, and Shioda's head of the Blue King. Yeah, Shioda's dad saw how crazy the skateboarding scene was getting in the Jincho, so he built a skate park in one of his spare warehouses. Sorte. Aren't you guys rivals of the Blue King? Aren't they, aren't they dangerous? Like, aren't we on enemy turf right now? Are we gonna be okay here? Yeah. This place is a commercial facility that anyone can use, as long as they pay. Okay. Besides, fighting is prohibited here. If you try to pick a fight, the guards will kick you out. Uh-oh. Hey, what's up, dudes? Angry man on the floor. But you do have a point. We never feel entirely comfortable here. Hmm. I thought so. Well, hurry it up then. Let's see your skateboarding Locked skills. Up. I'll give it my best and quickest. Show off your skills to Shikishima. Of course, made of quarter pipes and bristling show hounds off during the ranks. So it looks like we're going to get a bunch of different either missions or things. Uh, tighter steering or fast acceleration. I'll go for acceleration. Oh, I can use my tree trunk legs extract? Ooh. Yeah, it's time to get all Tony bloody hawks. How to play. Any beat the mission score in time though. Your failure can't beat the score in time. Skateboard points you earn from coins will only be obtained once you win. Pull off tricks to score points. So it's ready to land tricks with a rating of great or higher to start a combo. Big combos score big points. If you accomplish the mission and grab all the coins, new coins will appear. Ollies! Approach your ramp, press your proper button, do an ollie. Speed your approach and turn your button, press effects to height your ollie. Rapidly press the button to spin during the ollie and score additional points. Grinding and sliding. Approach rails both grinds and slides. Score depends on the length of the trick. Alright! Nice and simple. Get early. Oh, got coins. I can see this getting quite in depth. 
with later uh, later ones. Oh, that's bad. Still got good points for at least. Slaughtered that. Bonus 1,000 points. Not bad. Last combo 11. Not bad. Fucking hell, that's a lot of points. I'm looking forward to seeing what the points actually give us. Not bad. Yeah? Oh. Hey, look, Mitsui. Who are they? It's the guys from the Blue King. The one in the center is their leader, Teta Chioda. Teta Chioda. <laughs> It seems like very, very simple. Shishima. Pretty cool. Uh, here, Shukushima, we have this time slot booked. <clears throat> Let's go, guys. Oi. leaving. Oi, Shukushima. You painted over the Blue King's tag again, didn't you? If you got something to say about it, why don't you just paint over it with something better? Soga! Asshole. But, but if we get in a fist fight with Chioda, we'll get banned from this park. Yeah, I should stop this. Hey, let's calm down. Both of you. Ah? Uh huh? Who the hell are you? I joined the Ijicho Hounds today. Name's Yagami. Huh? Yagami? Yagami? I knew you looked familiar. Yeah, it's him. He's the advisor of the MRC. I'm sure of it. Eh? Exclamation mark! Huh? The MRC? The Mystery Research Club. It's a club at our school. They hear that their president, Amasawa, has been looking into the professor. Crap. There's a serial high student in the Blue King. And apparently I'm too famous for my own good at that school. Why don't you guys let someone like him into your club? <laughs> yeah, you've been infiltrated by a rat, Shikushima. What are they talking about, Yagami-san? Uh, oh, well. <sighs> okay, you join us is off the table. Let's go, guys. That went well. This is awkward. I think I'll just go home. Oops. <clears throat> they give me a peel, which would allow me... Got dumped by Shikushima and his crew, what else is there to do? Oh hey, you look like a Yakuza. You all look like Yakuza's. You have a knife. So, What do you guys want? You know the neo King gang? Swear to God, Kasai. Mm -hmm. What? We heard from Shikushima that you're looking into the Professor. So, you saying that Shikushima's crew and the Professor are connected? Who knows? Time to fuck you up! You drop the knife. Failed again? This was happening yesterday. Listen, drop the knife. There we go. Oh, you have a knife too. Shame about that. Shikishima tell you guys to come after me? Don't know, don't care. Oh. Oh, that's a quick getaway. Oh, damn. So there is something between Shikishima and the professor, maybe. He's keeping his mouth shut, but I can work with it. Hey, who the hell are you? 
That's him. Ma. Hey, your name's Yagami-san, right? Ma. Yeah, and you're a uh, Blue King's the leader for the time being. Name's Chioda. I'm impressed. You're strong as hell. Well, yeah, against those guys. You sound confident in your fighting skills. I like that. Yagami-san. How about you join our group? Eh? Huh? Seriously? Look, the Professor's been backing those guys and acting as their enforcer. So I've heard. Uh... And we've been struggling because of it. Having a great fighter like you would really help us out. It would? But aren't you guys a famous delinquent group in a Jincho? Besides, I don't want to help with any extortion type stuff. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that sort of thing. It's been a long time since the Blue King did shit like that. Now we're just a group of guys who like to skateboard. Even though the public thinks of us as a bunch of troublemakers. Hmm. I see. Well, no need to give me an answer right away. Just let me know if you ever want to hit up the park. You can find us in this area, we're usually hanging out here. Look at that. Okay, I'll think about it. It's not the group I was expecting to join, but you know what? Yeah, sure, why not? Skate park and skateboard point shop have been unlocked. Excuse me. I need to go find and spend my points. Once I do a sick ollie. Oh, look at that. Oh, excuse me. Can't, can't skate into a bush, I'm afraid. Let's go find out what our points can get, shall we? Look at how cool that was. Look at how cool that was. Look at how absolutely cool that was. I'm guessing... Can you grind across... The in... Ah, oh, hold on. I'm sure you can grind across the entirety of this. Not from that angle, you can't. Leave me alone, lads. I'm busy doing teacher things. I, I need a good angle for this. Like, from that side, I think. Where the bloody blue ha They're up here? Oh, man. <laughs> I just assumed they'd be down here with the graffiti. Also, question. No. Okay. I thought that was going to unlock... Wow, we're at 40% for the skaters already? That's the skater case. The skater case isn't actually that long. Huh. Okay. It's actually kind of nice to have certain side stuff not be, you know, 40 hours long. Robot club. Again, I am curious as to what our old skateboard points can get us. Hello, fellow kids. How do you do? I'm here for skateboard points. As well as pick up that rose, because I actually kind of need those. Wait. Hey. I just want to spend points on my board, my dudes. Why? When you're underage, Jodakun shouldn't be smoking cigarettes, you know. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. So, you feel like joining our no. team now? Cool if I do a trial oh. run? <laughs> Fine to me. Let's just have some fun for now. Like skateboarding buddies should. We'll save the talk for later. Come on, I'm just about to head to the park. Let's go stuff to be short and the other stuff. Yeah, as it seems to be. Which, honestly, makes sense. You're not going to have, like, ten hours for each school story. It would be insane. Ah! Exclamation mark. Ooh, bad timing. Boy. Get out of here. I got this spot reserved. <laughs> Heh, oh yeah? Then we'll just go skate on your turf. I'll be decorating the place with my artwork, of course. So good. Hey, hold up. If you're going to keep doing this, we're not going to put up with it. Oh? So you're going to challenge me with your graffiti, then? <laughs> Ha! <laughs> huh. What's wrong? Guess you don't look to the name Chioda Te Artistic Genius anymore. Artistic Genius? Son of a bitch. Wait a minute, Shikishima-kun. Nah. We're all here. Why don't we do what we love? Skateboard? We have a little competition? Mm -hmm. Competition? Yeah, we're our tricks. And if I score better than you, you don't tag anything here this time around. I'm good with that. Mitsui? But if we win, you guys give us today's reservation for the park. Nah. Okay, I'm fine with those conditions. Yagami san, you're gonna be alright. Well, just wait and see. So am I up against? Me. I'm the Namiya. Let's ride. Can't wait. You'll wait a little bit, because I'm gonna go I'm going first. I'd like to spend my points. Heh, how's that for you? I have to beat that score, huh? Alright. Beat Ninamiya's score. Of course, banks on top of quarter pipes, time he jumps well, need to beat Ninamiya's score to move the investigation forward. I'm just gonna go unmodified. I cannot spend my points yet. Point shop a lot, yeah, by the way.
This ain't good. I'm missing coins all over the place. And that. I don't know what score I'm trying to beat here, you know. That's my combo two. Oh, there's 2,000. Sorry, at the top right. I'm stupid. Maybe if I looked, that wasn't a good score. I felt like plus 1,500. Felt like that was not good. Yeah, new missions have been added to the skate park. I'd just like to spend my 20k points, honestly. Keep your word and don't tag our turf. Got it, Shikishima, Mitsui? Fine, but only this time. <sighs> Let's go, Mitsui. Gold does give a lot of points here. Yagami-san. You guys get a Yagami-san and pressed all over again. Haha, <laughs> guess I have an eye for talent. Hey, what Shikishima mentioned earlier? Teta Choda, the artistic genius or something. <sighs> hey, he was just trying to get a rise out of me. I used to be in the art club and all. That was back in middle school. Shikishima and I went to the same one and we were both in the art club. Yeah. Shikishima was in art club? That explains why he's so good at graffiti. How were his skills back then? Oh, he would win awards at contests and shit. I remember he would talk about his dream of being an artist when he grew up. And he quit the club midway through his second year. I see. Okay, I'll have to continue looking at Shikishima, but there's clearly some mystery surrounding Choda too. Nice. This gets me appeal for dancing. But more importantly... I want to spend my skateboard points, you motherfuckers. Do I, do I talk to you? Which one of you gives me near the skate park? There we are. Alright, so what can we get? Let's have a look. Ooh. Yellow lizard, modified for fast acceleration. White horse, modified for high maximum speed. Uh, purple drop, modified for improved acceleration, turning a maximum speed. That's a lot of fucking points. There's a free play pass voucher, baby. A dance textbook. On break dancing, DVD, vital spirit, health, and the EX gauge cover over time, recovery even more by guarding enemy attacks. Ooh, skateboard rocketeer. Story about a cheerful skateboarder might figure out a new skill. <gasps> oh, okay. Uh, reduced ability in duration by seventy percent. Jesus. Defense plus seven. Defense plus ten. Defense plus three. Reduced ability in duration by five. Defense plus three reduce to bleeding direction by five. Wow, there's these are all expensive as fuck. New EX solo breaking. I thought it would be for the for the thing. EX solo breaking. I don't see it in here. Am I crazy? Skills in dance? That's what I thought they were. It definitely doesn't look like it's anything in here. Yeah, it must be. It must be for the dance club. That's just weird how it came up like that. Um... Yeah, it is. Look. Yeah, it's, it's one of these. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, skill points. Attack upgrade. Thank you. Thank you. I want to get some of these as well. Hell yeah. Give me extension too as well. Hell yeah. Nice. Oh wow, there's different missions? Are they different from the main mission, I assume then? It's still at 40%. We just we just did some more story and it's still at 40%. Hmm. Uh acceleration seems to be the the trick here because you want to get to you want to get to more of the ramps as quickly as possible i'm guessing there's going to be like one at the very end of these that gives you like a metric fuck ton of points one of these days Angle. 
ults. on base to be honest. <laughs> cool. Cool. A bunch more points. Okay. Good place to grind your appeal out as well. Yeah, go to the park. What's the flank the bank? Course the banks top of court post, time you job as well, 1,500 by clearing the mission. Again, I think fast acceleration to do it. Yeah, this is what the skate points are for, yeah. Good old skateboard club. Question. Okay, you don't. I was wondering if you get points for doing those, but you don't. That was actually a little tight timing wise, you know. It's very, it's very basic, and that's not, that's not a bad thing. That's not me saying that, you know, it being basic is a bad thing. Um, it's solid. It's a lot more solid than, <laughs> nice points, I didn't realize. It's a lot more solid than it honestly probably should be. I'm assuming that I have to go elsewhere to carry on the skate club. So I would have, I would have expected there to open up the rest of the missions. So yeah, it doesn't seem. This is obviously the best place to go and get your points for your other stuff here. I really wouldn't mind getting this real quick. Skateboard Rocketeer. Like, if we do one more of the previous one, we should get enough points for it. We should be able to get enough points for it. Yeah, the later intro, the later missions, I'm also going to assume are going to give way more points as well because that's yeah, that's yeah. usually how these mini games go in these games is that they okay, they give you a whole bunch of points like later on. It's like an easy. They give you like one really good one to grind on. Gone in ages. Yeah. yeah, the better boards will help a lot. Cool. 
Wow, that's a much better best score than last time. Neat. Alright, so now I can get that skill book. I am I am curious as to what it is. I'm very curious as to what it is. So, skateboard rocketeer! The skill power slide has been unlocked. Oh yeah, I could have saved up for a, a different board, but nope. <laughs> nope. I'm assuming I still don't have the other missions. Okay, so yeah, the other missions will happen later. Okay, so. Uh, unlocked a new skill in Tiger. Uh, it is power slide. Use the skateboard to perform a powerful slide. Hold X to increase the sliding time. Can also be pulled off from a wall jump. Run with one with X while in EX boost and press X. Can also be pulled off from a wall jump. EX human ramp. I think we're gonna save up for those. <laughs> I think I think we're I think we're just gonna save up for those. I think you probably agree. You probably agree that maybe maybe <laughs> maybe they might be a worthwhile investment. It's per usual. So we've got multiple at the bloody mystery club room again. You know. I'm guessing one is going to be skateboard club. Oh, hello. I was going to check my phone, but I guess not. I wonder if these guys know they're standing in front of the MRC. If you win money at the next tournament, you better bring it here. Cheaters never prosper. I haven't cheated at all. Still better bring the money. Oh, come on, a shakedown? Guess I better put a stop to that. Yeah, help the kid who's getting shaken down. Oh! It's a new club! Shit! Hi! Hi. Hey, how about you back off? <laughs> Damn, you got a scowl and a half. Can't wait to kick you in the face. No. You okay? Thank you. Um, are you the teacher for the MRC? Mm hmm? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm the outside counselor you got me. Did you need something? Y yes. I'm, uh, my name's Maki Otoki. There was something I wanted to ask to talk to the MRC about, so I was waiting here. There's no response even after I knocked. Mm. Trust me, she's in there. She doesn't even leave at night. She's just ignoring you. I'm sorry. See, I guess there's nobody inside. Well, come on in. Okay, thank you. I guarantee you she's inside. She's not, huh? She actually went home for once. Mm. Oh, damn. Usually the President Amasara is around. Yeah, all the time. There she is. I forbid it, at least until the end of term exams are finished. <sighs> okay, okay, I get it. Uh, huh? Yakimi san, I didn't know you were here. Kanto's teacher was lecturing him about his grades hmm? earlier. Hmm? We have a guest. Uh. This is Tokikun. He's got something he wanted to discuss with the MRC. Okay, Tokikun, you have the floor. Um, I'm in the eSports club. ESports! I want to lay some suspicions to rest. The suspicion is we're somehow cheating with the help of the professor. <laughs> Did you say the professor? I think I'm gonna need to pry further. Um, esports, where uh, where you play video games competitively, right? Yeah, we play in tournaments, and usually the games are the fight, fighting, gamer hours, baby, fighting, shooting, that sort of thing. It's hard for me to imagine what a day at that club looks like. What do you guys normally do? Well, we play games. Yeah. I should have expected that. But it's not just playing. We study the moves and combos of the strongest players, and we train our mental strength. In esports tournaments, if you don't have an eye in focus, you've already lost. It takes work to get to that level. Like, for practice, we go to temples for Zen meditation and also sit under waterfalls. Esports got fucking wild. Oh. Now that I'd like to see. It's our president's own practice regimen. I don't know if other schools' esports clubs do the same thing or not. Yeah. Say, I was gonna ask this earlier, but does it feel a little off to call these esports a sport or at all? They're just video games? Oh, you just fucked up. It's not like you're moving your body. So how is it a sport? See these things? See these things? They're part of the body. I'm moving them. Fuck you. Moving your fingers isn't moving your body. <laughs> Thank you! Oh. I mean, I move my fingers to read a book too. Neta. Back it up, sis. Video games can absolutely be a sport. <laughs> it's okay. I'm sick of hearing it. There's all this bias about games being bad. That they make you stupid. And guess what? Now you have to hear my rant. Guess he's pretty fired up. Might as well hear what he has to say. Games aren't bad. Oh boy. Games used in esports have a very high competition factor, and to win you need to put in an absurd amount of effort and practice. 
On top of that, at tournaments, everyone's nerves are running high like you wouldn't believe. You need a cool head to keep you focused when something unexpected happens. In other words, esports is the battle of the mind. It's no exaggeration to say it requires an athlete's abilities. Where did all this even come from? Kentokun's right. Right now, esports is recognized as its own subculture, and there are more professional players every year. <laughs> Good point, Toki. So yeah, the age of games being banned or just for children is over. Somebody remind me how much the prize pool for this year's Dota 2's International is. Because if you want to say that esports aren't a legitimate thing, just look at how much money, that mostly community driven, that the International has raised every single year, and the fact that you've got professional leagues for every other fucking game going on. Millions? Around 40 million? Fucking Christ. I guess that's because last year they didn't have one, but fucking hell. It's absolutely mental. Um, do you two know each other or something? Kentokun and I are mutuals. Online friends, I mean. Have we even talked to LRL before? We're not in the same year at school. Well, now that we've listened to Kentokun's rant, do you have a counter-argument, Amasawa? <laughs> Oof. Poor girl. Kento. First of all, Kento, I never once said that games are harmful or that they need to be banned. Okay? Mm -hmm. Huh? I'm pointing out that you need to stop changing the topic. Listen, what I really want to say is... Exams are almost here, and you don't study at all. You just keep playing games, and you keep failing. That's why I'm saying you can't play games until exams are over. Do you understand? <laughs> but aren't you chasing after mysteries instead of studying for your exams? Eto. Me, I can I can still handle my studies along with my extracurriculars. My grade ranking is still in the upper percentile. Anyway, until the tests are over, you're not allowed to play games. And if you fail, I'm banning games for a month. No. Oh. Looks <laughs> like you plan on banning games to defend esports backfire nightly, Kent Ogun. Damn it. Well, I don't get to play. I get all ansty, though. Alright. 40,018,195 USD. 38 million of which is community driven. Fucking Christ. It amazes me every year, and I know obviously it's got two years worth of backing for this international, which is going to make it even more interesting. Um, keep forgetting it's next month, I'm looking forward to it. Um, but like, even if you look at like the the world for leagues, etc., you look at any Counter Strike tournament, the, the sheer, the sheer bloody effort that people put in and the time required is ridiculous. It's kind of the same for us as speedrunning in that we put in so much time into this hobby to be good at it that, you know, nerves start to rack when you do the runs. Like, you get on world record plays. I've lost, I've lost world record runs in multiple things to nerves. Just... It's it's hard. It really is. K2's fucked me multiple times, for instance. You have regular gamers who think they can make it as big as the Prozac practice. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a there's a definite difference between normal gamers and the professionals. The professionals are insane. Also, cheating allegations. I didn't realize we were talking about YouTubers. So you guys know what cheats are, right? Uh. That's when you cheat in the game by using mod programs. Yeah, you can make it easy to win by making characters move in ways they're not supposed to, or be immune to enemy attacks. Anyway, perspective using some sort of cheat during our last practice match. Oh. What's that? The opponents of that practice match were a famous team. They had some professionals who were already known around the world, in fact. But their ace player got beaten by our president. Here's our fearless leader, Genya Sanborn Matsu. Mm -hmm. Wow. He was suspected of cheating just for getting a win? It was because of the way he won. A no damage perfect victory in a matter of seconds. Well, that definitely doesn't sound normal against a professional. But to assume he cheated is terrible. They don't even have any evidence. Yeah. That reminds me. So, Kikon, what's of all the rumors about getting help from the professor? We don't know why people think that. The newspaper club is just making things up. Mm. The newspaper club, huh? Guess I'll need to talk to them. Request. Winners get 15.6. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. You might from your brother at a local CSGO tournament. Nice! We want to discuss the MRC. When do us get a club and clear us of the suspicions? We're in a... Well, I got that. Okay, then. Did your president, Sambon Matsu, couldn't know I'm going to be doing this? I haven't told him. He'd be opposed to it. Well, then he won't be on guard, so perhaps that'll make the investigation yeah, easier. Sir. You can why don't you just go undercover like you always do in acts and advise the eSports club? Uh. Good idea. Let's go with that. Cool. So the club's room's on the fourth floor of the East building. Once again. Well, hey, Hoxie, hope you're doing well. 
Okay, East World Cup, time to head to their gaming grounds. So yeah, they brought back the, the auto option for dialogue, which is really, really nice. So is this actual eSports club? I guess it's eSports club. I have no idea what this is going to entail. Uh, this is not the East building. This is the West building, I believe. Hmm. Also robots. That's the roof. Yeah, it's definitely not the right building. I mean, I could get there if I just went across the roof. Like... I just rush across the roof, it'll be fine. We find more kids rubber johnnies on the roof. Jesus Christ. <sighs> that running animation. Yup, that's Yagami, alright. Look at him go. It's alright, we have a skateboard. We can use the skateboard later. <laughs> it's in the right building either, is it? Fucking god fucking damn it. I went the wrong bloody way again. <sighs> Hang on. Math next, I really hope I don't get canned on. Wait, don't we have modern lit next? Remember they told us about the class change last week? Oh crap, really? I don't have my textbook. Well, do you? Let me borrow it. Uh, I need it. Borrow one from someone in the other class. Right, right, sorry, I panicked a bit there. Yeah, he's not gonna give it to you when he needs it himself, dumbass. Come on. Alright, to the other building! Eventually, we'll go back to Robot Club. Eventually. Not yet. Also, my nose is itching right now because one of my fucking... One of my hairs is fucking... Fucking with me. Is this the actual... This is the building, right? Yeah, so fourth floor. Hey, I should realize this is a quick way to get to the clubs, actually. I should realize this is a, a very quick way to get to them. Yeah. Which is... Ah, the eSports Club Room. Oh, baby. Hello, fellow gamers. I am here to win at Counter-Strike. Jesus Christ, that man has a dildo. President Sambon Matsu, care to comment on the truth of the cheating allegations? I have absolutely not cheated. I swear it on my heart and soul. What about the suspicions of you being in contact with the professor? Oh, my What's well, Look into my eyes. Do I look like a guy that would cheat? So dramatic. This is going nowhere. Let's wrap for today. Oh, you're from the MLC. Mm hmm? Hmm? I am. Okay, goodbye. Oh, Yagami-san, thanks for coming. Is that supposed to be a PS4 uh. on the side there? So you can, were, those, were those guys from the newspaper club? Sound like they were bothering you all. Yeah, they're determined to write a hit piece about the cheating allegations from the other day. I do wonder what esports we're going to be uh, getting into here. Oh, no! So, you all accounts that Tokyo was talking about. Yagami. -da. Yagami. I'm normally an advisor for the MRC. Nice to meet you. Yagami-san! Do you know Virtua Fighter? I should have fucking known. Oh. Yeah, who doesn't? That one was real popular. It's the one where he goes for 10 years too early when he wins. I mean, even kids would know that. I'm asking if you know Virtua Fighter 5 Final Showdown. Who's your main? Eh? Uh, 5? Final? It already has that many sequels? Hey, calm down, kid. Oh, my! Wow, the ignorance! Hey! Okay, so what the fuck is happening? Which one fight, final showdown of VF5 FS for short is the game we're playing at the next tournament? So if you're gonna be our advisor, knowing the basics is a must. If this is leading into other minigames, by god, I hope there's a Mahjong Club. Ah. Uh. Right, got it. Yagami-san, I can give you a tutorial. Just talk to me whenever it's best for you. Sure. Mate, I'm gonna be button mashing. What's this controller? That is the most awkward, awful-looking controller I've ever laid eyes on. Jesus, imagine trying to use that stick. Ugh. Nice, nice console, by the way. <laughs> That's definitely not a PS4. <laughs> okay, Yagami Sounds, these are the basics of this game. Strikes, punches and kicks, high attacks, aiming at the same time as tilting left stick right up to the mid, and aiming at the same time as tilting down result in a low attack. Guard. Hold square for standing guard, holding guard button, or tilting down to form a crouching guard, able to guard against low attacks. Getting close to opponents, press the square and triangle for a throw. 
Utilize the most effective moves depending on your opponent's movement. Throw a mid are the basics to attacking. Use throw on opponents that are standing and guarding. For opponents that are crouching, guarding, use mid attacks to break their guard. When you get through your opponent's attacks, time strike back. Use both standing guard and crouch guard to defend against strikes. Opponents that want to throw, use crouching guard to defend against strikes. Oh god. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh Jesus Christ, it's actually virtual fighter. Oh god. <laughs> I, the virtual fight had this many characters? Jesus! Jackie Bryant? I remember Jackie Bryant. Brad Burns? What a name. Go Hinogami? He looks like what's his face from bloody. You know. Taka Arashi. Oh, it was auto picks. Well. I don't want this guy, but it's the guy I get. Just get good at fighting against this. It looks like it. Hello, naughty Honda. Zero minutes, 40 seconds KO. Zero minutes, 30 seconds KO. Zero minutes, 15 seconds KO. Easy skill points, baby. Easy peasy. Yeah, the, the compressed audio don't sound good, does it? I have one. I think the AI was set to hyper easy. <laughs> Yagami-san, how are you with just typical controls? Mm, well, I feel like I can learn as I go. Okay, I'm willing to practice with you anytime, so let me know uh. when. Watch that. All right, I need to look into cheating allegation, but how do I go about that? We fight the kid, obviously. When are we getting any guts? That's my question. When do I get my guts? <laughs> when do I get my innards? Oh, are you cheating, kid? Hey, Samba Matsukun. Yagami san, do you believe games are harmful? Mm. Harmful? Who knows? I don't think going overboard on anything is healthy, though. In order to win, an hour a day doesn't cut it. In order to be a top tier athlete, one must devote hours upon hours. Even if you get bored, you have to practice with an unyielding fighting spirit. It's not even recreation at our level, it's true sport. And yet when we practice our sport, unlike those who practice track or baseball, we get criticized. But we're athletes too. We need to practice. It must be tough to fight the bias against gamers. <laughs> okay, everyone. Time for push-ups and squats. Gonna train so we can have the fortitude and relentless fighting spirit we need. Yeah. They actually are surprisingly athletic. Good. Good. I guess that's it for the Virtual Fighter Club. No, nope, never mind. Nouveau lag on PS4. That's mm -hmm. a good... Question. You're in the club room earlier. You're from the newspaper club. I'm Toshiaki Otani, and yes, I'm with the newspaper club. I want to talk about the suspicions, uh, the suspicions surrounding the esports guys. Perfect. I was curious about that too, actually. Why don't we talk somewhere, you know, besides here? Understood. I'll wait for you at the cafeteria. That is just downstairs. Thankfully, here are stairs. So, esport gamer club, how much? 33%. So you only have to do probably a couple of fights for it. What it's looking like, what it's looking like is obviously Misa, Mystery Research Mystery. Mystery Research Club is obviously attached to, as you can see, finishing all of the investigations. So that one's going to be the last one. Dancing is pretty long, but it only has four songs because you need to get your appeal up, obviously. Robot Club is fucking long. Simple as that. It is very fucking long. Um, skateboard doesn't seem to be... 6,000 parts skateboard from flank the bank. Okay. It's got a lot of objectives, but the actual thing itself doesn't seem to be that bad. Um, oh, easy peasy. Look at that. Good. I don't know what I've done here, but I've progressed. I'm assuming it's 16 wins. I'm assuming these are obviously wins, because it's... I don't see what much else that it could be there. So... Or, like, wins with characters or something like that. Um, I, think I need fresh yakso pan, yes, please. Yes, yes. I have accent. Wait, this isn't the yakso pan. Curry and rice. Hell yeah. 
Yeah, sure. Fill me up. Let's go. I have a nice, healthy school meal. I wish my school meals were like this. School meals in the UK are terrible. Like, if anyone hasn't, if anyone hasn't seen, uh, we have a very famous uh, footballer who plays for Manchester United called Marcus Rashford. He's actually been com uh, he's actually been campaigning to get better school meals for kids. Which, thank God, because like the actual school meals that we get in the UK were terrible. Like, actually terrible. Created a prison of my own actions. Yeah, sober pan. Yeah, sober pan. So, Tani Khan, you guys at the newspaper think the professor is involved with the esports club? Heck yeah. When it comes to that story, I definitely think there's been some technical assistance from the professor. Didn't you approach the esports club to investigate the professor too? Maybe. Check me, Sand. We can help each other here. We can tell each other what we know about the scandal. Look at that. Quid pro quo? Fair enough. You first. Sounds like he's gonna share something good. Gotta make sure I don't derail it with anything I say. Partnership. But wait, before you share, this present moment, I don't think I have anything you don't already know. We can skip your turn for now as long as you promise to share me anything you learn in the future. Mm. Just to be clear, this is off the record, right? I'm not interested in publicly humiliating a student because you take what I say and print it in the newspaper. Oh no, if it would badly affect a student's future, we'll refrain from reporting it. I do actually have the conviction of a real journalist, you know. All I want is the truth. Mm. I think real journalists are gonna disappoint you, kid! Ooh! Ooh! Damn! Scarlet Slits will sample Matsu Kun beating the crap out of some famous esports player in a tournament? Yes. A world champion, in fact. He didn't give any opportunities to counterattack. It was over in seconds. So I don't know much about gaming. Is that something that shouldn't usually happen? Well, at the very least, I've never seen it. it definitely doesn't happen often. What's especially weird is Sambo Matsu is an amateur with no record to speak of, and his opponent was an undefeated pro esport player. So it's like an Olympic gold medalist getting crushed by a turtle. Who was tranquilized? And that's why you think he cheated with the professor's help? Yeah. Also, I should explain more about that. At tournaments, they have pretty hardcore countermeasures against cheating. Obviously, without those, the sport would collapse. Like, even in a practice match the other day, they were using what's called cheat detection software. Uh. Wow, never knew that existed. So nothing illegal was detected in that match? Apparently not. But regardless, something did happen that only a cheat could explain. I think Sambo Matsu and his crew somehow evaded the software's powers of detection. Is that even possible? Not with the rudimentary skills of a high school student. The professor? Yeah, he could get it done. That's why I think he's involved. Uh huh? But of course, it's still a mystery how he could have installed the cheat tool on the machine. There are monitors to make sure that can't happen, even for practice matches. There would have been no chance to install it via a storage device like a disc or USB stick. Well, maybe there was truthfully no cheating. Oh no, I saw the match with my own eyes. It was not won in an honest way. If you say so. I think that's about everything I wanted to ask. Mm. Question now is how do I proceed with the investigation? The fastest way would be for you to get really good at Virtua Fighter, then play against Sambo Matsu. Great. He hates losing. He thinks he's about to lose to a true amateur like you, Yagami-san. He'll get desperate. And so, when Sambo Matsu's character starts acting weird, that's when you secure the machine he's using. Oh. Okay, the only thing is, I'm a noob, right? Is that the turn? I have a pretty tough time beating Sambo Matsu -kun. Nah, he's got predictable habits in the way he fights, and he relies too much on certain winning strats. Basically, I'm saying his gameplay is simple and shallow. If he sees through it, you can beat him easily. Seems quite the expert on Virtua Fighter. Oh. Oh. Haha. <laughs> it's just something from a long time ago. I'll see you around. Esports club. Yeah, we're in. Did we get a new club? Yes, we're in an esports club. Let's see the practice song meet Sambo Matsu. If you haven't seen much today, we're in multiple new clubs. We're in. We did a little bit of the robots club and we got access to the skater club and also the esports club, which is like just the Virtua Fighter club, but you know. Actually, you do. But the, um, in only doing one little bit of the story for the esports club, we're already at 33%, and one little bit of the story for the skaters is at 40 so these two are pretty quick by the looks of things, which is nice. Robots Club is not going to be quick. Dance, we still don't have level 3 appeal yet. Um, we'll get appeal through the robots. No, we don't get it through the robots club. We'll get it through skating, actually, ironically enough. That's where we'll easily get our appeal. Um, what it looks like is you see how you won't see because my webcam's in the way if you look at dance club and you see how teamwork and appeal 
are raised with dance club. If you look below at skaters, you'll see that appeal is raised, and at robot the X club, you'll see teamwork and focus is raised, and on esports club, the focus is raised. So it seems the bottom row actually raise what you need for these clubs. So I'm assuming robot club is going to have a lock behind level three focus, much like this has appeal level three, and that's why you need to do the esports club to carry it on at some point. Want tip on Robot Club? No, because that would be backseating. Thank you for asking, but no. Kindly, shush. Thank you. I don't want to know. I do not give a flying fuck. Like, I really, really do not. That's expensive. Why is that in a school? Oh, uh, what the shit? Is she in her disguise again? Oh, no, it's the actual teacher this time. Now, if you excuse me. Yeah, thank you for asking, but no. Absolutely no. Oh, hello. It's about off skaters, yeah. This should raise our... It should raise our stats, hopefully, in another go to get us another club, I hope. Because it's looking like we're unlocking clubs at level 2 for, like, everything, and hopefully we'll get guts eventually. You're still dinosaur guys that you've been left behind. When they dig up your old fossil, don't come crying to me. Ah. So, again, who was that? Oh, well, Sasamoto-san, the PTA chairwoman. She came to observe things to see where our club is of benefit to the school community. Yagami-san! Yagami-san, she's never ancient husk who's never even picked up a controller. She thinks games are just toys for children. A game where a player is immersed into a virtual world is the highest form of art. Why can't they understand that? Huh. This stuff really gets him, doesn't it? PTA chairwoman hates games. Moth. Can't stand them. There's rumors that she's going to try to ban games at school with new regulations. Good luck with that. Eh? Seriously? Wouldn't that mean the end of the esports club? If it comes out that they cheated, it would be just what the PTA chairwoman wants. Everyone, we will not bow down to the demon lords. Kitsu, we must be kitsu. unyielding. We'll tackle this with relentless spirit. <laughs> We're going to do so great at the tournament, and then the world will know how important games are. Yeah. Yagami-san, if you want to get some virtual fight practice in, just let me know. I'll do it, actually, because I quite like to raise my thingy. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Yagami-san, you want to go around and virtual fight uh. Yeah, about that. I'm gonna play against Sambo Matsukun. But uh oh. Hmm? Me? You're the best in this club, right? He said the line. Eh? Exclamation mark! You're like a child who just started running track, asking to race an Olympian. I hope you realize oh. that. You're really that good? <laughs> yeah. But tell you what, if you defeat three of the strongest members in this club, then you and I will play. Fujiwara, Uzumi, Yoshiba, and myself, of course. We're the four kings of Serio. Oh, I got that. Okay, there's only five of you. I'll take on all of you in order. Alright, fair enough. Uh, yeah, let's go. Who do you want to go up against? Fujiwara. Okay. Simple. Easy. Makes sense. Nice quick storyline. I'm okay with this. I'm just going to stick with Takarashi because it, it worked quite well for us the last time. Then there. <laughs> Like, <laughs> round one. Ready, go. Back out. Just spam buttons. <laughs> round two. Ready, go. Fujiwara. Okay. We beat Fujiwara. It literally only needs to do one round as well instead of like the old ten rounds of the arcade. So it looks it really looks like um they've made the AI easy for oh, this so that normal players can get through it. Nice, I win. You're good, Yagami san. Sai. Yoshiba, what's wrong? Why are you sighing like that? My teacher laid into me pretty hard. Said my practice exam scores were terrible because all I do is play games. Well, the tournament is soon and we're practicing a lot of the time, so there's not much to be done about academics falling by the wayside. I haven't been able to keep up with my English classes lately either. Hey, dude. Can't believe what I'm hearing. Naive, you're being so naive, you guys. You can't become a pro without sacrificing something. Me, when I'm not sleeping, all I think about is games. Forget about your studies. In fact, I forbid studying for all esports club members. That's not your call to make, my dude. 
What? Uh... Hey, Sambomatsu, you definitely can't do that. You cause everyone to be held back. <laughs> A real gamer isn't afraid of being held back. Uh... By my determination, studying is important. You've got to be able to do both. That's raising my vocals up. The next one should... <laughs> School stories beat up the guys. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Yoshiba time. <laughs> it does look like a Fist of the North Star character. You're not wrong. Time to train for Evo. Hell yeah. Evo already happened this year, didn't it? Because it was online. I just actually, I didn't watch it for once, which is a bit of a shame. I wonder if the requirements so to actually win around, like, every character. This is pretty easy to play. <laughs> Just slap a lot. You think even you could win this? Yeah, it's very, very easy. <laughs> wow, you're already good now, Yagami-san. Can't believe I lost to a guy when he just started training. Maybe I suck at fighting games. Good. This will be an easy club to knock out. Um. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Sambo Matsu. Sucking is just an excuse for weak people. Your lack of effort was to blame. <laughs> Yoshiba, your strongest weapons aren't on screen. They will hold hella compassion. You're right, Sambo Matsu. Thanks. Hello, everyone. It looks like you're having fun today. Oh, she's back. Mm -hmm. Are you the PTA chairwoman? Her name's Sasamoto. I have some business with the board chairman, and this room was on my way to see him. You're going to put pressure on the chairman again, aren't you? To stomp out my club. I won't let you do it. We're going to win the tournament, and everyone will see how important games are. Games important? Everyone? Hehe, <laughs> you're all such funny kids. Okay, bye. <sighs> wow. Did she just drop in to get a daily quota of snark in? She really hate games. She really does like games. This is oppression! Sambo Matsu. Let's just do our best and try not to lose people like hey! her. Of course that's what we'll do. Oh Yagami Sam, we have time to drop by the club room again? I want to talk to you about this group that's been running around the city's gang underworld lately. Mm hmm. That sounds like a new club to me. Yes. I'm gonna fight Ozumi. I'm gonna fight Ozumi. <laughs> easy, easy peasy. <laughs> they are, they are rolling them out, yeah. So I'm gonna try a different character this time. See if my theory is correct. Great Wall. Okay. Okay. Round one. Can we win Ready, without our large lap? This guy's actually trying. Round two. Ready, go! There's the move I remember from VH2. I might hear the sounds of an airplane. Town go freshman? We ten town go school missions? Hell yeah! Yeah, it's Winslet, top right. Good. Good. <laughs> that has nothing to luck all on, correct? You're pretty damn good, Yagami-san. You too, Uzumakun. That was a great match. Shit was actually hard. Yeah, yeah. Nice car for us. I do hope you do enjoy it. Again, play play Yakuza however you want to play it. There's no like wrong way to play it. If you wanna if you wanna just focus on the main story, then just focus on the main story. If you wanna do side stuff for 30 hours, do it. Just play how you wanna play. There's no wrong way to play, which is nice. Let me take a gun. So, be all three of them. Does that mean I can take on Sambo Matsukun? Yes, he's got to agree now. Nah. Perfect. When I, when I play him, can we say it yours and not at his? Sure, but why? Theory is that Sambo Matsukun wasn't using his own machine, that he cheated on his opponent's machine, right? So, we should play our match on a machine that can't be tampered with. Then we can look into the supposed cheating. 
Every machine could be tampered with, dumbass. Okay, sure, I understand. Just to be sure, the day we play a match, do you think you could exchange the machine at your desk for a new one? I think I can do that. There's one that's not being used. I'll go to the club ahead of time, switch out and stand watch. Good. Good. Is that 10,000 SP? Jesus. That's a lot. I appreciate that. Get the X-Charge. I should probably start getting HP boosts, to be honest. I should probably start getting HP boosts, to be honest. Wait, what's the one skill I can afford in here? For 2k. Drunken Fist. Oh, wait, shit. I was trying to save up for Power Slide. No! All right, I need to win Virtua Fighter to be able to get Power Slide. Sambo Matsu. Need Power Slide. Need Power Slide. Thank you, defeated Uzumi. Sambo Matsu. Can you play me as promised? Hey! Yes, I think I'll be able to get some decent practice out of playing you. Come on, sit next yeah. to me. Nah, let's go to where Toki can use these sets. Mm -hmm. Toki's? Why? Is there a problem? Yeah. No, there's no problem. Sambo Matsu is going to cheat. He'll do it when he's cornered. So I'm going to need some skills to push him close to losing. He's brought his stick, and I'm on a controller. And I'm on a controller. Speedrun-wise, looking very good. Um, so, in terms of the in terms of the run, uh, there has been a singular tail segment at the very start of the game. Um, zero money necessary parts. Oh, uh -oh. he's actually decent. Decent AI. Oh god, I might lose. Wait, to actually concentrate for a second, hold on. Wow, that goes off my HP. Spamming that cheeky bastard. Um, obviously it follows the usual Dragon Engine shenanigans of all cutscenes being skippable. The skateboard is pretty good for running around, but obviously we also have LED's fast travel system, and every single taxi spot is unlocked from the start. One tail segment so far. I think only two chases, maybe three. Um, I think the longest part of the game is gonna be the start part. Um, the first couple of chapters, honestly. Everything... We've just gotten through a gauntlet of story stuff that would have locked us in anyway. You know the usual RGG, the hey, here's a chapter or two where you can't do anything other than the story? We've had a couple of chapters of that. Um, honestly, there's not much in the story that is a time waster. No time waiting segments. There was one bit that was asking you, hey, wait until this person's available but we ta we taxied to the other side of the city and it immediately gave us the phone call so it isn't a time wasting section it is a um it is a length based one distance based in the discord yeah it's it's nice um it's so far from what i've seen it's nice no. that was just a warm up you're gonna be sad about another match next one will be the real thing uh. yeah let's do it all right some match is going to cheat be right around now I need to watch carefully see if his character starts to behave strangely do i don't oh. We go again. You almost kicked my ass last time. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Yo, Dark Lotus homie, thank you so very much for the five gifted subs whilst I scratch my nose because it itches so much. Might, I might go deal with that. I can't skip. Interesting. Is this going to be an auto movie? No, it's not. I can't move. I can't attack. I can't attack. Curious. 
Yeah, I can't attack at all. Ooh, shenanigans. But yeah, that lets me. Thank you so very much for the five gifted subs. Yeah. Why do I still have to win like this? It's certainly possible. I will overcome this deficit! Cheating bastard! Okay, maybe not. Can't even guard. Yeah, can you get like one attack in? Mmm. Have to have words with him. Time to yell that he's a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be starting to get destroyed in seconds if you zone out during a match. That's strange. Returns all my inputs weren't working. No doubt about it. Sambo Matsu is using cheats. There was never a chance for him to do anything with Tukun's machine, so how's he doing it? Nah. Sambo Matsukun, could you stand still for a sec? Mm? It's the stick, isn't it? Uh, oh, what's up? To... Well, I smile you had when you won was so nice, I want to take a picture of it. To remember the joy of youth. <laughs> I do have a good smile. Please go ahead and photograph future star. Is there just something in the TV there? How much chance I need to look closer to find out the trick to his cheats? I'm certain it's the stick. Oh, yes, you. An arcade stick, that's some more Matsu's. If it's a standard controller that connects to your machine's USB port, that's how external storage devices connect to the machine too. So, couldn't you have an illicit program on the controller? No. Say, Tokikun, can you bring your own controller into practice matches and esports tournaments? Yes, in general, bringing the controller you're accustomed to is okay. It just has to be the types allowed by the organizers. So, you can take your own controller to the match. That means maybe there's something set up on the controller. You can use the controller to connect to a machine without anyone the wiser. Modify it a bit and have the memory short memory slot. Revile the USB, then you might be able to transfer programs to the machine. It's looking like a good theory. A game theory. Nah. Some Matsukun, can I take a look at your controller? Huh? huh? Wh why? Is there something you don't want me to see? That's uh, someone I know is pretty good at programming. I bet they could. Some, they could. I bet they could some pretty cool stuff with a fight stick. I hand over the controller. Ugh, ugh. Cheating little bastard, where are you going? Huh? What are you doing? I just remembered something. Chase him down, Yagami. Oi. Shoot, is he trying to get rid of the evidence? I won't let him. Is we actually going to chase him around the school? <laughs> Hell yeah. So, one thing you'll see here, Hoxie, is that chases are a little different. There's the old Yakuza freestyle chases, and you can't actually avoid crowds, but you can hold the input ahead of time. And it looks like it's like Judgment, where it's all the same input anyway, which is nice. Like, jumping over people is always going to be triangle, then throwing stuff is always X, unlike the random ones in Judgment, which is good. Ooh, wasn't better than that. He got. Christ, the kid's running for it. Oh, they got more HP. Look at that HP bar. Imagine if you could stack that and hit him twice a bit. That'd be insane. High FPS stairs, great! <laughs> Don't you dare keep running. Ugh, uh, uh. I'd be about to finish our first club. 
Hey, what are you? It's my martial arts, which I've perfected in Virtual Fighter. I'll show you. Yeah, I'm gonna win. Sanbomatsu. Sanbomatsu. <laughs> he said the line. Ugh. I thought we were gonna beat up another kid for a second there. Huh? Yangmi san, what was all that commotion? Oh. Called Sanbomatsu, which means. No way. President. Sanbomatsu, why don't we tell everyone the details of your scheme? Yeah. Fine. Mmm. Mmm. Not good. You had the cheat tool on your controller. You set it up so that you could install it on the machine whenever you connected via USB. Yeah. That's right. And you employed the same method against that world famous team in the practice match? Yeah. I did. So when you insert the USB into the machine, the cheat files will automatically be executed. Do I have that right? Oh. Uh. Yeah. I just got a random sub to a person I've never seen before. From someone I don't even know. Hmm. Okay. When you install it, you input a specific command that lets you nullify the opponent's controls in just a few frames. Ah, and a few frames is a huge deal in fighting games. That could cost the whole match. But to the players, it just feels off. Not finding the inputs or a few frames will make the opponent think it was just an error on their part. Impressive. No, I'm fairly certain real-life players would know. Dugga. But how do you avoid the cheat detection software? Didn't the machines for the practice matches have that? Well, they kind of had some help. A mentor, I guess. Even if he was evil. I knew it. So the professor came all the way up here. I used a website to communicate with the professor. I wanted to win the tournament no matter what. So the professor provided you with an advanced cheat tool? Yeah. Yeah. When I made a post on the site, he sent me a private message. Mm. The professor sometimes doesn't take any interest, but every so often he contacts students who submit written requests. I wonder why he took an interest in bad behavior like yours. Yeah. I don't know, really. I think he probably had his sites set on the prize money from esports tournaments. It's usually a lot of cash. In famous overseas tournaments even offer 100 million yen. Sometimes it's 300 million. Eh? 300 mil? No way. That's absurd. You know, I did all this on my own. So the others didn't know anything about it. No. Nah. Why would you resort to cheating, kid? Because I wanted to keep the esports club alive. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Ever since I started the club a year ago, not once have we been able to win any anything. Excuse me. Fucking hell, I am... <laughs> The hernia today is going really bad, like my esophagus is closing down, I do apologize about this. And since we spent so much time playing games, our school's grades went down. PTA chairman was ready to use that against us. Rumor has it she's pressuring the administration to squash the club. Yeah. She is. If I thought if we won something and got talked about, we'd have everyone's respect and the PTA chairman would spare us. So that explains all of it. I'm more to ask this poor kid. Time to send you to jail, kid. 40 years of cheating in the video game. Sumimasen. Yagami san, everyone. I'm very sorry, I take full responsibility. I wonder if you could have actually won that. It would have been interesting. Sorete. Take responsibility? Where are you going? I'm going to the chairman. I'm leaving the club. It's what I should do. Sambomatsu senpai, no. Otani, since I'm offering up my own head, could you hold off on putting this in your newspaper? Sambomatsu. Is is this happening because we're too damn weak? <laughs> huh? We're so weak. We couldn't win. And that let the PTA target us. I'm guessing that's why their fights were actually easy, is because they are bad players. She pushed our president to this. Indignant. Toki, that's not. That's how it is. I'm so ashamed for being so weak. Exactly. We're the ones at fault here, Sambo Matsu Senpai. So please don't quit. You're our president. No. Toki, who owes me? You're not mad at me? Are you kidding? We were just gaming Otaku. You were the one that gave us a place to belong. You taught us it's not embarrassing to be a gamer. That gamers can be athletes. Yeah, thanks to you, everyone in school looks at us differently now. It'd be wrong for you to take responsibility all alone. You guys. You guys are the best friends I could ask for. This is the best club ever. Nah. Otani, tell me the truth. Are you going to run an out and call on them? No, I don't think so. Club metal drama doesn't move papers anyway. Ball? Shit. Heh, <laughs> I see. I'll be seeing ya. Bullsh- Bull- Bull- oh. Bullshit. Yagami-san, yeah, do you think you can persuade the chairman to let the esports club continue? Uh. Well, I am their advisor, after all. Yeah, I guess I'll give the members a hand. Focus gun. That's a big chunk of focus. Yeah, Hoxie, the early parts of the game are literally- The first three chapters are just, hey, beat up some kids, which is fucking hilarious. 
Great, so the chairman's willing to keep the clock. Uh. Yeah, since cheating was only done in practice match, he's going to overlook it this time. Even the PTA chairwoman begrudgingly accepted the decision, as long as they do better in tournaments in the next six months. Wow, and their skills are really going to be tested. Could be tough going for the esports club. Uh. Yeah, I think this whole thing really strengthens their friendship. The way they've been practicing, they are extremely motivated. Does the chairman of the PTA have officially allowed games to be played at school? Maybe they'll join the esports club. Not you. The school and PTA may allow it, but I do not. <laughs> but why? Didn't this show you how great games can be for society at large? That's not my issue. How many times do I have to say it? You're well aware there's something you should be doing right now. <sighs> but still, you are not allowed to play games for a good long while, Kenzo. <sighs> Damn it. This is even tougher than the PTA. Just looking out for you, my dude. I guess that's the end of the esports club. Yeah, that is. 10 SP. Fucking great. And more the SP from actually doing the thing. Okay. Finally, in Tiger Star, where are we? Power slide! You just skateboard to form powerful slide, hold X to increase sliding time, cause pull up from a wall jump, and human ramp. A trick and attack formed from a power slide. There we go, we got two new things to play with when we get into a fight. Either way, Esports Club is done. Um, what was the mission to the Esports Club? Because we were definitely not done with them. Um, okay, no damage, four wins, and just 16 wins. Okay, that's not too bad. If it's a single, if it's a single turn like before, you could literally just do it against the easiest one to play against. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Yeah, that's that's pretty good actually. We'll take that. All right, let's go see what this new club is again. I might have to stand up and stretch in a bit. It's not actually my legs that are the problem tonight. It's my lower back. I'm sorry. I want to talk to you about the new case. Anyway, San, thank you for coming. Please take a seat. Oh yeah, hell yeah, I'm down. What's this Ooh. new club? Kind of couldn't sit in on today's meeting? Uh. Yep, it's somewhat relevant to me, so... Oh, is it? Let's see what Amsal's got for me. Uh. And apologies if the question seems out of the field. Any chance, have you heard of Sujigiri that occurred during the Edo era? Sujigiri? Uh, you mean those old crossroad killings where people ambushed others with their swords on the streets? Uh. Yes, samurai and vagabonds alike supposedly did it to test their skills and weaponry, or even to mug their victims. Uh. Something that comes off in both Kenzan and Ishin. So, uh, any particular reason this is coming up in the current year? Well, it's certainly becoming relevant in the Jincho. Granted, it's more of a crossroad beatdown here. Huh? Crossroad beatdown? What in the world? Apparently, there's a local figure who appears out of nowhere to challenge targets to fist fights. Hey, Fight Club! You don't talk about Fight Club, but we're talking about Fight Club. I've heard that several thugs and skilled fighters alike have fallen victim to this payback boxer. Boxing Club? Boxing Club? Nah. Ooh, now there's a name. What's this payback boxer like? He's tall, well built, and only uses boxing techniques. Not only that, I hear he's exceptionally strong, so much so that he's even defeated a martial arts champ. Whoa, sounds like a real pro. Unfortunately, he's still under-identified. He wears a hood over his eyes and hides his face from a mask. Apparently, the payback boxer tells all his victims, I'm here because of your past sins. Why does that sound familiar? Why does that sound familiar? Oh, I know why it sounds fucking familiar. Fucking hell. It sounds familiar because I was watching, um... I was watching Super... Super Eyepatch Wolf's, um, latest video while I was eating dinner earlier talking about the absurd insanity of the TV show um, Rivervale, the Archie-based one, and how there is a character in that who is a serial killer because they're absolving people of their past sins. That's why. Sins? What do you mean by that? From what I've heard, he only targets rough and tumble types who clearly have skeletons in their closets. There's also a rumor that the payback boxer has been accepting requests made through the professor's website. I see. So he's almost acting like some kind of anti-hero. Any suspects yet, at least? Eh. Well, we do have one potential suspect already. Kenya Oshikiri, a male second-year student right here at Serio High. Okay, who's this jackass? I currently have two reasons for suspecting him. First, a button from Serio High School uniform was found at one of the payback boxer's crime scenes. Secondly, I've heard that Oshikiri could attend a boxing gym off campus. How are his boxing skills? Payback boxer is exceptionally strong, right? I also hear Oshikiri is exceptionally strong as well, and known for his tremendous skill. Yagami-san. He's a downright prodigy. I bet he's the strongest person at that gym. Eh? You know Oshikiri too? Ah. Uh. Yup. He was originally in the karate club with me. We used to practice together when we were both first years. He was crazy strong in karate too. He beat all the black belt senpai the same month he joined the club. I'd like a drink. That's why I'm holding on to my flask from frameratemerch.com. He flat out told them there's nothing more this club can teach me and walked out on the spot. Dang, that's crazy. Nah. Look, Yagami-san, 
you and I used to be pretty close. I have to say, I really don't think he's the type of guy to do something like this. About that. Kento-kun. What kind of guy is Oshikiri from your point of view? Eto. Well, Kenya can be combative, but he's not capable of any real crime. But Oshikiri kun has been in fights all over town, right? He's well known as a delinquent here in Ijincho. That's not it, sis. Kenya has a kind of mouth on him around his senpai and other tough guys, so they get wound up pretty fast. He got famous because he kept winning fights that other people picked with him. He never started it. So you really don't think he's got the payback part of the payback boxer in him, do you? Hmm. Hey, Amasa, what is it exactly you'd like me to do? I'd like for you to go undercover Oshikiri Kun's boxing gym. Hey, hey! Quinn Kento, he opens up sparring opponents that he trusts and respects. Sassuruni. By that logic, so you prove yourself as Jim, you may be willing to share any relevant secrets with you. That. Got it. For once, I'm in my element considering all the martial arts practice. It's called the Todoroki Boxing Gym over on Sakura River Street. Eto. Oh, and Yagami-san, that gym has somewhat of a grim reputation. Because of course it does. Mm -hmm. Um, Grim how? On top of being extremely intensive with their training, the member role appears to be comprised of some rather frightening individuals. All of them are ex yakas or ex-convicts of some kind. So you even say the gym turns down applicants who lack priors. Oh, good! <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. What kind of gym would do that? Sounds like a bunch of rooms cooked up by people who never set foot inside. Mm. I certainly hope that's the case. Great! We we'll go get our face punched in. Hell yeah, let's go! Again, we'll carry on the robot club at some point later. I'm assuming... Is it on our thing already? No. Yes, it is. It's guts. Yes. Main story... Main side school story progress. Yeah, because we have to go and... Uh, we have to go and do it, obviously. Interesting. Does that mean it's turned off on our town ghost off? No, not yet. Okay. It's interesting that they keep it locked until you've actually gone to do the thing. That's kind of clever. It's Todoroki. It's, it's an AJ all of a sudden. The guy's about to use fire and ice punches against us. Oh, also, I don't know if you're still here, you're, if you're still here, Hoxie. Um, the drone still despawns enemies, by the way. And even better, you actually aren't punished as much this time. You know, in Original Judgment, when the enemy spotted you and you couldn't use the drone anymore? Uh, you can still use it at that point now. So, as far as speedrunning goes, you actually... They're not... They spawn as aggressive as they did, but they, all, they don't actually block you as aggressively, which is nice. Like, if I do this, you can see they haven't even gotten into a fight with me up until here. They've gotten the lock onto me, and then if I go to my drone, they're gone. Like, they don't actually aggro from half the map away. They just spawn quite rapidly, but they spawn the same as they do in Judgment, in that you'll see on the mini-map. And thankfully, you have danger display from the off as well. They'll spawn on the mini-map in terms of, like, reasonably close to you. Um, but again, in places that you can't see. See, they, they just spawned there, and look, they didn't even notice me. Like, they do notice you when you're on the skateboard as well, so... Kinda nice. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going back to Yokohama 99. There it is. Wait, no, that's the cats. There it is. Really? I was gonna stop off at our cats on the way. Yeah, they also, as Kentrop says, they aggro less when you're walking as well. They do notice you on the skateboard. As I will prove right here. As I will prove right here. I'm a fraud. A liar. A cheater. <laughs> See? Someone noticed me there. Someone noticed me. Ow. Maybe they don't notice you on the table. I swear they do. Hey, lads. said, hey lads, what's going on? I think they're broken. <laughs> I think I have broken the enemy. Maybe they don't. I swear they do. Hey, lads. Maybe they don't. Which, if so, that's going to make the skateboard... Hey. 
an exceptionally powerful tool. Either way, speaking of exceptionally powerful tool. <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. <laughs> That's the good shit. Let's build my EX up. Wow, my tool builds up a lot of EX now. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. So maybe it doesn't, because like, the the nice thing is if it doesn't, like, in in low in like small areas where there's like a bunch of like people spawns, like if you know um, if you know back in Kamurocho, uh, the road where Yagami's office is, you can skateboard down it. But if you knock into any pedestrians or obviously any objects on the side, you fall off the skateboard, which makes it a really hard like road to actually skate down. But as long as you're constantly jumping, you don't actually fall off the skateboard. You can't skateboard alongside any pavements, only on the roads. So there's going to be skateboard tech for sure. Um, but hey, it's been a while. Your baby. Your baby. Uh, I'll pet the baby. Yes, yes. That's a good kitty. Food really does more than petting. I'm not only gonna ever. I'm not gonna pet the cats anymore. No petting cats only. All right, this this should work. Hey lads. <laughs> only when I fall off. Yeah, I think you might be right. You know. Oh, I went after this guy. Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen Snake Style, uh, Foxy, uh, that was a bad example. <laughs> Hold on. If you haven't seen Snake Style, by the way. It's got Tanamura's parry. I like Snake. I like Snake a lot. Like, it, it's definitely a bit more slower and methodical than the other two styles. Like, Crane now is absurd. Yeah, no, they don't get into a fight with you on the skateboard. That's good to know. So, Crane now, if you dodge at the right time, if you dodge at the right time. God, these guys are boxes, clearly. Come on. God, they all attack really fast. Fuck you. Come on. It gives you a massive attack speed buff. Also, Crane has a bunch of new uh, methods to be able to... Has a bunch of new methods to be able to juggle people, which is really nice. Really, really nice. It's it's honestly, I think Crane has gotten the biggest upgrades out of all of the all of the styles. Like Tiger's still bloody strong, of course, but Crane now is interesting, and you can get a skill for each of the each of the styles that takes over their special bonuses to the others. So that attack speed from Crane can be taken over to Snake and Tiger. I like it a lot. I like it a hell of a lot. Like, a clean and quick switching style is, yeah, same. So this is the Todoroki Boxing Gym. Time to find out whoever's in charge. Oh, voice. Actual voiced cutting. Is that guy actually running this place? No, can't be. Why can't he be? He definitely is. Uh, huh? hi? I walked into the wrong place. Who's 
轟健闘事務会長轟健闘事務会長というプレゼント Seriously? はじめまして、ヤガミタカユキトイマス。キョア、ニューカイキボーデキマスタ。ニューカイキボーデトウキスマ、ゼンカはいゼンカウサンナトキテンダオトガ、オコガ、アロツマサカ、ロツバソウ、ウロシジャネダロツンロツバソウ、ヤ、ゼンカナンテナイデスケロ。We could get away with the assault one. Not a remote Yakuza. No one could be there. Ojo Gaika, Omega. Orewa, Umarete Konokata, Katagides. Futuni, boxing won't a rainy kitan this girl. Planning cameras in kids' bathroom. And yeah, worry good I go near Yamitina. Which you are then coming your remote Yakuza. Ready, because I've seen that guy on the floor multiple times. Katagi got hump on a cacao de hater. Shinzo. What the fuck? Did you just call me? Trying to turn me away at the door, huh? No way I'm letting that happen. Yo, punch him. I really like. I love looking at like the aesthetics of like new places and stuff like that. Like just. I really like. I I love looking at like the aesthetics of like new places and stuff like that. Like just. There's a lot of things here, for example, that are like brand new. Like actual brand new like assets that they've made for this game, and there's a shit ton of them with like the school and stuff. So, goddamn, oh, this is really really neat. I think that's that guy we were looking after, or looking after, looking for. How you doing? Yakuza is a continuation of LAD. It has spoiled. Uh, it has spoiled LAD on uh, two or three occasions. <laughs> hey, you got a second? Summer. What are you still doing here? Get out of my face! Mm. I need to get this guy to let me join somehow. <laughs> Throw in the towel. Side above you. I'll come back later. Are you kidding me, you wuss? How do you plan on box if you're just gonna walk back down that easy? So you're gonna let me sign up? Summer. Hell no! If you want in, you can catch a charge or two first, you fucking pipsqueak. Uh, Damn, this guy's nuts. Mm. I can't get him to let me join. Taunt him. Alright, why don't I show him my stuff? <laughs> Weakling? Ha, that's a good one. The two? Is that you said? I may just be a civilian, but I've gone through my own hell. It's been a long time since folks like you could scare me. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're real good at bluffing. The kind of guy who can't take a single hit without crying about how you'll sue us for physical harassment. So fuck off! Why? You're more than welcome to call my bluff. In the ring. Oh. oh. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Hey boss, I'll play with this guy if you want. Summer! Rashia, you trying to get locked up again for creaming a newbie or something? Uh. This guy's the next convert. Yogami. Yogami, was it? Got any experience boxing? Yeah. No. Uh? What the fuck is with you? I'm serious. I don't have any experience inside the ring, but I'd like to think I know the basics. It may have been in the streets, but I have fought boxes before. Before I watch any sparring, you're gonna prove you really know the basics. <laughs> Gear up and get in the ring. I'm gonna test you myself, then maybe you'll finally fuck off. This man is angry. Bonky day, oh man. No, we're fighting and fighting him ourselves, huh? Go to the rocky. All right. See what you got. Each box has a health gauge atop the screen. Walk down while the opponent's off and fall to the ground. Use left stick to aim your punch at the opponent's head or body. Aim your punches wherever your opponent isn't guarding to land clean hits. Use L1 to guard against your opponent's attack, switch between guarding your head and body with left arrow. Left arrow? Left stick. An arrow will flash briefly when your opponent changes the height of their stance. Use that to advantage when guarding. <laughs> Yeah. 
In evade opponents, blow up a quick step. Use left stick to choose direction you step. Have each quick step will drain your circuit stamina gauge. Once stamina is empty, you won't be able to do punches in quick succession. Ow! Rude. Man just fucked me. Okay, at least I can't die by the looks of things. Ah, Steam, huh? Avoid taking hits where your stamina is low. If your stamina gets totally depleted, you won't be able to move, effectively making your punch bag your opponent. Any actions besides moving or holding up your guard will deplete your stamina, including taking more hits. The stronger attacks you use, the more stamina you lose. Stamina gradually replenishes if you stick to moving around or holding your guard. You also recover a bit of stamina whenever you block a punch aimed at the body. Your opponent can run out of stamina as well, so you use your advantage. Good fight switches off on their opponent, hammering away at the head when the body is often guarded, and vice versa. Ow. I'm assuming this is a fight we're not supposed to win. The health runs out, it'll be knocked down. Three knockdowns in one round will end the match. Be going for the countdown to the screen, you get up fast by rapid pressing X. Have the remaining stamina you had right before you went down terms how many times you'll need to press the button. Your health will also cover somewhat during the intervals between rounds. Alright. Yeah, good, good fight. Yeah. Good, good fight, question mark. Here's some review. You get knocked down if your health on the top screen runs out. Whoever gets knocked down three times during round will lose. We when you take a body attack while your stamina is nearly empty, you won't be able to move for a while. Stamina is used when attacking, evading, taking its body. Drop stamina, guard against enemy body, stop attacking, evading for a while. Okay. That's such a tutorial. Each match gets four rounds, three minutes per round. For now, let's start with one minute. Man is not dying. Like, he is not taking any hits at all. Hmm. He's suddenly gotten very less aggressive. <laughs> okay. Nah. How's that? Not too bad for basics? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you've gotten down, alright. So, Yoshita, come on the fuck out of this cocky ass nobody. <laughs> well, they're ready for it. Yagami! You hear that, Yagami? We're gonna go easy on new meat. Four rounds, three knockdown rule, just like the real thing. So you just have to knock him down three times, right? Pretty simple. Summer. Just so you know, Yoshita's a class C boxer, but he's even better than some of those class B's out there. And I ain't letting you throw in the towel, even if he turns your face into pulp. <laughs> hey, coach. Is it okay if he doesn't walk away? Uh, sure thing. Kill his ass. Uh, oh, great. Yagami. Yagami, you're up. Let me know when you're ready. Man's angry. Let's fight. I'm ready. I'm absolutely ready. Todoroki, I'm good to go. And get in the ring. I want a, I want a box. Rashida, kill him. Take his fucking life. Life on the outside's been a load of bullshit. The slam is my home now. Drop dead, Yagami. Oh. Good. Right. This used to be a school story, by the way. <laughs> I don't think it's the school anymore. Yuma Iwashita. Jaw crusher. Rounds per three round minutes per round for rounds per match. Any boxer runs out of health will get knocked down. Whoever is knocked down three times in a round loses by TKO. Match is decided by the end of the fourth round. Winner is turned by decision. So it's based on the number of punches landed and the number of successful knockdowns. Remaining health does not affect the decision. What? I was gone. I have an EX boost now. That was one. <laughs> Get my HP back. Where's my ring coach? Is man gonna get up inside? I need to ask, not with full HP either. Nice. 
Man's getting wrecked. He ain't gonna have much HP after this. Oh, he's gone! He's gone! Oh, bark, no bite! My power health went up slightly, same with guts. My stamina really went up. Good. Yeah, that's how we get our guts, alright. <laughs> nice! <clears throat> oh, God. Dude, he's strong. He beat Iwashita. <laughs> Dude, get rid of the sword. <laughs> fucking garbage! How dare you lose some walking? You think that was a class B word back there? <laughs> You're a goddamn disgrace! Get out of my gym! Spying the shit stain! Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shut it! Drop dead! Oh. <laughs> Whimper. Oi. Hey, that's enough. <laughs> it's Todoroki, right? I think I've proven myself, so you'll let me join your gym now, right? <laughs> you definitely got some guts. Fine, you can join. Nice. Nah. Hey, I had a rumor about this gym. A really amazing fighter comes here to train. High schooler named Kenya Oshikiri. No. You did? I like to spar with him. Yeah. I won't allow it. Huh? Why not? We're both members here now. Shiru! I said I won't allow it. No talking back in my gym, you weak little nobody. Uh... What's his problem? Oh well, that's a shame. Guess I'll have to spar with Oshikiri another time. The gods helps. The gods is nice. Oh, here he is. Right on cue. Kenya. Did he say Kenya? That must be Kenya Oshikiri. This is oh, it is. ダメだ。なんでや。会費払っとるやろ。それにみんなスパやっとるやないか。なんで俺だけ。ダメだと言ってる。毎日シャドウやらミット打ちばっかで黙ってまうわ。試合もさせてくれへんし。黙ればげろ
It looks like somebody we'd find on bloody Victory Road. I think I'm about to get my ass kicked. I don't do any damage. I think this is a guaranteed loss. Oh yeah, I do no damage. Jesus. Put up a decent fight at least. Me up. Definitely not one you're supposed to win. Jesus. He really wanted to do that punch. <laughs> Not a good first round. Man, that kid can recover like nobody else. Hey, you want a little advice? Let's hear what Todoroki has to say. Well, my dude. Yeah, that'd be great. The kid's a lean, mean, killing machine. I don't think you got a chance against him at the physical level. So what do you got that can keep you from dying in there? Your spirit! I'm sure a fighter like you knows what I mean. Hit him with that fighting spirit. You know how to kick it in high gear, right? Yes. Well, go get him. Beginning the next round. Alright, sure. Fighting spirit. Just like in Street Fights, EX Gauge also comes handy for boxing. Land successful hits to charge up the EX Gauge. Once charged, the Gammy can activate EX Boost. After you activate EX Boost ring, while Ace Boost is active, you'll be stronger and able to perform certain boxing abilities you've picked up. EX boost remains active until the gauge runs out. Learn EX actions from boxing skills to pull off moves that guarantee knockdowns. These skills eat up the entire EX gauge, so don't waste your shots. <laughs> that was an auto dodge, I didn't do that. that was Kicks my ass. Hello. And hi. Oh, God. <laughs> That one breaks my guard, I gotta be wary of that. 
Damn, it's fucking tough. That's all his health back. Yeah, no. Went right into that. Coach called the bell. Coach called it. No, that wasn't me. Okay, Yagami's pretty good, but he still doesn't have a chance against Oshikiri. That's fucking nimble. Ow. He just beat us down in our Adidas shorts. Unbelievable. It's over. What the hell? Isn't he just a second year in high school? How's he so strong? Oh, this isn't looking good. Seven. Hey! I won't let him win. Time to stay down, you guy. Exclamation mark. Eh? He he stood up after eating Oshikiri's punch? Oh. Bring it on. What? What's wrong? You done already? No. Nah. How about we go all out now? What? He hasn't even been going easy on me this whole time? Nah. Uh, sure. Let's go for it. God. Oh, no, you could have. You said it. I'm not holding back anymore. Oh, no. Am I about to get murdered? I'd rather not get hit by that. Yeah, I'm gonna get moved. He's just parrying with my hits, look. Look at this punk. Yeah. I was gonna say, I should probably just stay on the ground, honestly. Oh boy. Time for me to get my ass kicked. Jesus. Oh god, he's going to EX. mode isn't just like an instant win like you still have your stamina and stuff that you have to be concerned about it's tough i don't think we're getting up oh surprised we are either way that's the end of the game bye <laughs> Whew, fucking hell yeah this is i think this is our final boss for the boxing stuff that guy's keeping up with Oshikiri? Yeah. Nope, not anymore. Yeah, not wrong. Ow. <sighs> These punches are scripted. Wrestling is fake. Kenya! Stop, Kenya. That's enough. Oh, god damn. Yagami just crumpled. Damn, kid's going into a rage.
Fuck, out of the way. Damn it. Wait, wait, I'm not done just yet. Exclamation mark. Enough. I I can take him. Cause I'm gonna destroy you. Go ahead and try. If I could use if I could use snake style, they'd be on his ass in seconds. Oh god, again? Yeah, I can make you fucking idiot! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Alright, thanks, coach. That's one way to throw in the towel. <laughs> For both people. <laughs> Get your stupid asses out of my ring! God. Kenya Oshikiri? What is up with this kid? How does a second year get that strong? Even if I weren't limited to the boxing rules, I can't believe I'm no match for him. Damn. I didn't even put my guts up. I should put my guts up like 20 levels. <laughs> get it now, Pipsqueak. You couldn't beat Kenya even if he was hanging upside down. Give it up. Nah. Hey, Todoroki, could you teach me how to box right so I can beat Oshikiri? Nani. What? I'm not the kind of guy who likes to keep losing. No. Exclamation mark. <laughs> huh. Is that right? Pal, you got a real pair on you. In that case, start by perfecting your jabs and straights. In six months, you'll be ready for the next step. Uh? Six months? That's too long. You gotta teach me faster. Mm. I do have a one-on-one -on -one special course here. Sound like it'd be perfect for a quick learner like you. And it cost extra, though. Uh. Surprisingly greedy guy. I bet the MRC's not gonna cover this. Yeah, I can make a beef up his boxer abilities in two different ways. Skills meant for boxer. In teaching skills menu, you can learn both boxing specific skills, you just need to pay Coach Todoroki a lesson fee. Unlock certain skills by taking down the specified opponent, either a sparring match or an actual match. Sparring train, you gain experience from the for the following four abilities by sparring. Gain enough experience to raise the abilities level and enhance it. Power boosts the power of your punches. Health is your maximum health. Stamina is your stamina. And guts boost your ability to recover when taken down. Sparring with opponents using different styles like Swarmer and Boxer will earn you different amounts of experience for each ability. Holy shit, this is going to be in-depth. That's your partner. I'll find someone at your skill level. Let me know when you want to get into it. Oh yeah, maybe I should get some info about Oshikiri from Todoroki. I want to see what the prices of stuff is before we actually leave here. Jesus. Uh, what do you want? Nah. I want to know more about Oshikiri. No, can you? Like what? Uh, the reason he can't box. Nah. Why wouldn't you let anyone spar against him? He seems like he really wants to practice. Summer. You should know if you're already squared up with him. Once the switch flips in that kid, he can't hold back. Oh. Come to think of it, his attitude definitely changed once I landed that solid hit on him. Mm. Oh, that's just the start. If we hadn't stepped in, you'd be a dead man right now. Okay. It's, that, it's that bad? Normal people instinctively pull their punches when they know they shouldn't overdo it. But Kenya, he loses that when the switch flips. He just becomes a rage-powered killing machine. <sighs> he won't stop until his opponent's dead. Mm. Damn, how do he end up like that? Who knows? If I'm being honest, he's ruined one boxer's life already. Mm. How so? Uh. I had one guy coming round here. Seemed like a solid up-and-comer. Takaru Mikimoto. He went pro after clinching the high school triple crown. He was unbeatable. After his debut, he climbed the ranks and took out a bunch of top-level contenders. I was thinking we had a future international champ on our hands. But then, Mikimoto got the nod for the Japanese lightweight title match and had to start training. He was asking around about a sparring partner when Kenya came up and introduced himself. In the first round, Kenya held his own against the higher ranked opponent. But when Mikimoto got him with a counter, when the second round started, Kenya's switch was already flipped. He saw for all of Mikimoto's movements. All of a sudden, he started the counter attack. I couldn't believe my eyes. This A-class box was getting completely smeared by a teenage amateur. Every single technique Mikimoto developed was useless in the face of Kenya in kill mode. And then came the third round. The gong rang, and the mighty Mikimoto refused to leave his corner. That had to have been when it hit him. There really are monsters in this world. Things even a genius in the ring like him could never, ever beat. That's why I stopped letting Kenya spar. I thought the risk of it happening again was just too high. Pretty monstrous. Nah. What happened to that Mikimoto guy afterwards? <sighs> Nothing good. It basically broke him. Ever since then, he barely drops by here even just to show his face. From what I hear, he's a real jackass now. Hanging around and making trouble with some local punks. Pretending he's got a real job. Let's see. Hmm. Sounds like we're gonna go and find him for some skills. And I'm not sure, but no matter which prodigy of Shikiri is, can an amateur like him really take a high ranking boxer like that? Uh. That in itself isn't too uncommon, actually. No matter how strong they are, boxers can lose to lower ranking opponents if the conditions are right. 
That said, Kenya's case is an extreme one. His fighting style totally overwhelms his opponents. He'll keep laying on the hurt till they're in pieces. No matter how much training or technique they've got, Kenya ruins it all along with their pride. Does Oshikiri do any amateur boxing? It would get messy if his switch flipped during a match. Under the provisions of the Federation, he can. He joined up over a year ago. But not right now. He's suspended. So that, uh... Suspended? You know what? I do recall hearing that before, but why? Did he do something? <laughs> Drop it! What makes you think it's your business? Guess he's not willing to share that. Payback Boxer. Ah. So, Todoroki, have you heard anything about the Payback Boxer? Uh. Payback Boxer? Apparently that's the name getting around town. Rumor has it he's a real good boxer. Yagami. I got asked the same thing by someone just last week. She was pretty obviously suspicious of us. Some high school girl. The <laughs> high schooler. Hmm. Oh. I can imagine who that was. <laughs> According to her, rumors going around that someone in my gym is the payback boxer. <laughs> Yagami, you're only here to fucking snoop on us too. <laughs> As if. I ain't gonna say everyone here's got a squeaky clean past. But Mageru! one thing I don't like is my boxers using their fists outside this gym. They're throwing your life away in the slammer. Shini! You better die in that motherfucking ring! Damn it, Amasawa. This was not the guy to get all suspicious. Mm. So, when I saw Ashikiri in the ring, I noticed that he looked like he'd been through some pretty intense stuff. Especially for a high schooler. What kind of training? No, what kind of life did he go through to wind up like that? Huh? What are you asking? Yeah. I'm just curious. Well, it's none of your business. Why is asking this and that? You run in some kind of Kenya club? Fuck off! Guess I need to gain his trust first. He was just getting talking. Whatever it's gonna take, I sure won't be pulling it off today. But I would like to know what skills and prices there are. What am I here for? Teaching skills. Alright. Garden jab. Base counter attack lays jab right after guard attack. Block and strike. After perfect guard, increase effectiveness of the following straight attack punch. In terms of engage faster attacks in the fourth round. Fourth round? The more you've been knocked down, the more effective it is. And yet, low HP, the exchange charges more. Six Spirit of Blaze, Spirit which chooses not to fight. Successfully evading attack will charge the EX gauge. Hmm. Taunt opponent to charge the EX gauge, warning may enrage some enemies. Wow. There's a couple of things in here. Not bad. Garden Jab seems sensible. So does Block and Strike. In fact, I can probably just afford most of this right now, honestly. Yeah. So sparring. Iwashita, Ichinose, Fujiyama. Alright. Four round bout, six round bout. Interesting. So we've done Iwashita, so Ichinose. Alright. I'm going to taunt him because I'm stupid. Oh, excuse me. Fuck it up. Oh, that lack of that lack of sleep is starting to kick in. Oh. That's not a good time, controller! I'm a box in here. This guy's going down. He's not even getting back up. Man's fucking done. Six rounds, my ass. 
six rounds, my ass. This will increase progress of a case in school scores to increase Yagami's leadership. Huh. Okay. Does that mean we have another club? Question mark? Does that mean I can get a new skill? Gold vision. EX gauge consumption during the EX boost is reduced. Jesus. Gold vision. So one, two... But one free will get me uppercut. Yo, hell yeah. I'd love to, I'd love to learn on uppercut. Alright, let's go. Come on, Fujiyama. Need my axe. I'm just gonna murder this man. Is he getting back up? I don't think he's. I don't think he's getting back up. You know, I think he's going straight down. Get fucked on again. God damn. Our power, health, and guts have all leveled up. Neat. Neat. Oh, hello. Looks like he's done for the day. Also, interesting that this is where we can use a lot of money as well. This feels quite in-depth, like like the other mini games, but in a different way. Boxing is actually kind of fun. Should I tail him? Oh, exclamation mark. Eh? Whoa. We're actually going to tail the guy? Jesus, attention. Is he some kind of wild animal? Mm. Hang on. This powerful monster's actually scared of something. Kenya Oshikiri. Can't quite get a read on him. Definitely strong, but it's fear earlier. This game is going to be a challenge, but I still have to try. Alright, tail segment. Only like. Is he scared of the Mogwall? Only like a fey third tail segment. Not bad. I'm just going to chill. Yeah, I was going to say, he's going to turn around. I'm just going to chill. I forgot to do my shoes up. Shit, is he coming back this way? No. He turns around a whole bunch of this guy. He's got to turn around. Yeah, the tailing is interesting now that it's actually, like, automatically goes to cover. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's a lot of cats. Hello. My friends. Reason you're not crossing the road, my dude. <laughs> Had to walk into that guy. I just had to walk into that guy, huh? Just probably gonna turn around in a second. That's why I'm waiting. Yeah. This guy turns around a lot. Should be able to get to the next group of people. This doesn't work? I thought this would be... This is my only problem with the new tailing system is it's very hard to tell, you know, what's actually cover. Like, I can't hide with people. I can't blend in with people. Like, 
It needs to be able to also cover you, but you also need to be able to see, you know, what the actual cover is. Like, it should still have, like, the squares to actually tell you, hey, you can take cover here. Because, like, I'm assuming I can cover against these little pillars on the right, but what if I can't, you know? It's a little, it's a little weird. Like, I'm not 100% certain it is a better system. It's so, it's so weird. Because, like, there's indicators for the final bit of them. So it isn't like the indicators aren't there anymore. I have no more casual hide again, so I'm going to have to be extra, extra cautious now. Where are you going, kid? Yeah, he turns around a lot. Taking a right. It's like, I wouldn't have guessed this is a hiding spot, for instance. Oh, he's gone down the alleyway. Wait, there's a fucking squirrel here? Shit, I have to remember that. Yeah. It's, it's weird. Gammy just latches as well. Yeah, there we go. I wonder if you can still see me. Probably. I need to be careful. Hmm. Shadow boxing even after his proper training. It's not about dedicated. In shadow boxing, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to imagine you're up against an opponent. Looking at his face. It's like he's gone up against someone even stronger. Who could he be imagining? Ah! Ushikiri, there you are. Hi. Right. Yakuza. Uh -huh. What is it? My big brother got beat up by the pay bear boxer. Huh? That's you, right? Admit it, asshole. I don't know. Listen up. My brother fought you at the Genbukai, and he says that guy had the same fighting style as you. Genbukai? What's that? I said I don't know. Ah! Don't play dumb with me. Stops himself. Why wouldn't Oshikiri counter? He even stopped himself from attacking just now. Hey, hey! Go after him! That's a knife. You know I've been tailing him, but there's no other choice now. Oi! Hey, stop right there. Okay. Huh? The fuck you want? Oh. You. On the next round. Bring it on. Yeah, alright. I'm a I'ma snake these guys. My knife. My bat. You're surrendering, although I just power bullet power bombed you into the sky, so good I guess. Yeah, I do like I do like Snake. I like Snake a lot. We'll probably get on with uh, story after this bit. I think do a little bit more story. Usero.
Get lost. <sighs> ah, damn it, let's go. So you were the one telling me this whole time. Guess he knew all along. <laughs> How could he not? I want to learn the secret of getting stronger. Say on all. Okay, I know what you mean. Oh, he actually believed me. But, like, you're already strong. What was that just now? Kung Fu? Ah. Yeah, you could say so. Self-taught, though. Your boxing needs some work, but that was impressive. Why, thank you. Whew. <laughs> He's learning from me. Oh. Oh? <sighs> Wait, like this? Kids are actually trying to learn. This kid's a natural. Looks like he already has the form down path. By the way, why didn't you defend yourself there? I saw plenty of opportunities for you to turn the tide. We can't use our fists outside the gym. It's the rule. Oh, okay. Except that wouldn't apply in this situation, right? This would have been justifiable self-defense. Would have been what? I'm saying if you're just protecting yourself, it shouldn't count as a fight. I'm sure even Todoroki would get that. I didn't know that. Nah. Yagami-san, was it? Do you want to be a stronger boxer? Mm. Huh? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, then. Um. Hmm? Sounds like Oshikiri's following the gym's rules. At least the one of our outside fights, anyway. It means he can't be the payback boxer, right? Either way, it's too early for speculation. So I've put in some more legwork. Yeah, more legwork. Alright. 5k yen, 2k skill points. I appreciate the skill points more, but sure. Neat. So, yeah, okay. Well, uh, let's go do some story, shall we? I do like that we got one club done. Esports wasn't that long at the very least. Um, 16k, I'm probably going to focus on a tiny bit of health at this point. But honestly, I'm not sure what I need at this point. Next enhancer 2 might be quite nice. Actually, no, I'm going to go for the secrets. I I've been saying that for ages. I'm going to go for the secrets at this point. Definitely. Been, it's been too long. It's been way too long. So they still go after you on the skateboard, but they don't notice you until you're on it? The enemies have definitely had an attack upgrade. Or defense upgrade, even. Ow! What the shit? They may have had a bit of a defense upgrade as well, to be honest. Still not good enough, though. Still not good enough. Simple as that. <laughs> God, these, these mortal attacks are so good. They are really, really good. I wonder who has lost this item. It couldn't possibly be the lady behind us. I know. My pillar thanks so much for my ex. Maybe it's time for me to let this go, too. I mean, I'll take the bronze plate. Thanks. And the red peroxide in the, in the toilet. Sure. All right, let's go do some story, shall we? Let's go actually get around to doing some story. Me up with Sugiro, gonna go see Yui Mamiya again. Yeah. Jump over those people. I just got stuck in a tree. I guess they don't notice you until you're actually off the skateboard. That's pretty big, actually. That's really big. Like, if I, if I walked into these guys, they would notice me. Yeah, hot damn. Alright. Alright. This will be, uh, this will be an interesting one. Detective Dog! This will be a very, very interesting one. Let's uh, save before we go, shall we?
Do we have any more requests, by the way? No. Although that one's in Camarocho, and these two are in, um, Ijinjo. Interesting. Okay. You got anything for us, Sukumo? Ah, Yagamishi. Kaito-san wa inochi ni betsujo wa nai to no koto de. Fukou chuu no saiwai de shita na. Shikashi, dou mo kimari ga warui no desu. Oh, don't worry, we would have been stabbed in a different way. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I could see with a silver after Kaito. Kaito oh, Yagamishi. He's a good friend. He's a good lad. Speaking of good lads, should we go find her? We know where she lives. And let's go. Ah. いこう。オッケー。そうこなくちゃね。もし本当にヤガミさんの仮説が合ってたら、マミヤユイは河合信也の殺しにも、三越真弘の殺しにも関わってる。まあ、そうでなくても、教師時代のクワナさんのことは
それは旦那さんに変わってもらったら The game wouldn't have pointed that out if that was nothing そんなことあなた方に言われる筋合いはありませんそうだね出過ぎたことを言っちゃった How can you be mad at Sugiura? それで何を聞きたいんです Where do I start? I have a ton of questions for her. If I piss her off, we might get booted out of here with nothing to show for it. Two group of us all excited, right? Hmm. Oh boy. All of these feel like an explosion, an explosion just ready to happen. Uh, let's go boop. Do you know how to do it? I don't know how to do it. あまり思い出したくない方ですうんあの人は学校をお辞めになった後偉人町にいたと言ったら驚きますいえ別にでも偽名を使っていたとしたらさすがに驚くんじゃないですか知りません私には関係ありませんから None of this seems to phase her maybe I should take it a step further クスモとミツルを覚えてますよねええ高校時代の同級生です河合信也というクラスメートにいじめを受けて校舎から飛び降りました13年経った今も意識が戻らないそうで陽子ちゃんの話じゃなかったんですかええそうですただどうも事件の周辺には黒川学園の出身者が異常に多いようで、yeah. みんな間宮さんと同じクラスにいましたまず北方先生がそうですしそれと赤池さんという方にも会いました彼のことも覚えてますまあ同級生ですから一応そしてその方々がみんな楠本光君の一件を間近で見ていたわけですよねそうですねでも誰にとってもあまりいい記憶じゃありませんわかりますそうでしょうね Alright, we're off to decent start Just keep it rolling and carefully build up to our point Carefully, boom 痴漢被害はでっち上げですよねはい江原明宏にお尻を触られたって例の件です<笑>あなたは彼とグルだったんじゃないですか示し合わせて痴漢騒ぎをでっち上げたお帰りください今すぐにちょっと八神さん誰も痴漢の被害者と加害者がグルだなんて思いませんそんなことしたって無意味ですからでもそれが殺しのアリバイ工作になるなら意味が出てきます殺人より痴漢の罪をかぶる方がずっと軽いそうやって江原は自殺した息子の復讐にニコシバヒロを殺害したんですただしその偽装工作を成立させるためには痴漢被害者であるあなたの協力が必要ですすぐに出て行かないと警察を呼びます早く出て行って a bit of enough. 江原とあなたとの接点が俺らにはしばらく分かりませんでしたけど沢陽子が黒川学園の卒業生だと気づいた時関係者たちのつながりが見えてきた沢さんは教師として江原の息子を教えていてあなたとは高校時代の同級生でしたから<笑>そしてそのことについて話を聞こうとしてた矢先彼女はカムロ町の半グレに殺されてしまったその半グレたちの目的はあなた方の高校時代の担任喜多方先生ですな何なの間宮さん喜多方先生がどこにいるか知りませんか彼は桑名という便利屋を名乗っていましたが沢さんが殺された事件の後連絡が取れなくなっています知りませんよ十何年も前の先生なんですからもう顔だって思い出せないくらいなるほどでも多分喜多方先生はあなたのことを忘れてないと思いますよ<笑>その証拠がありますえ There's no way you could tell that Elias Kwana had forgotten Yui Mamiya's face. Proof of that is. The bullying video. Kore desu yo. Now you're fucked. 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 Now you're
見覚えはありますかこの動画は先生の事務所で見つけました。大事に隠し持っていたようです。表示されている日付は、楠本満が校舎を飛び降りた当日。彼がいじめられている様子をあなたも笑って生やし立てていた。This game's actually had a lot of rendered cutscenes to be fair. さんがいない時でよかったね。こんなの見られたら驚いちゃうよ。おお、すぎよ。この動画の件で北方先生から何か言われたことはないですかおお。お願いそれを消して画面を見る限りこの動画は隠し撮りされたものですこれが存在することを間宮さんはご存知でしたここに映ってるミツル君は今も意識が戻らずにいるみたいだけど当時責任を問われたのは河合真也一人だったよねいやそれと教師を辞めることになった北方先生もかでもあんたらは知らんかを決め込んでこんな幸せな家庭を持ってる。向こうが気になるのマミヤさん What is she doing? いつかこんな風になると思ってた。What is she just doing? どういうこと誰 That's m o t people. Oh! It's him, that shirt, that's the guy that was spying on us, Akike. Oh, that's Akike, 100%. That purple shirt we pointed out at the time. Oh, shit. Lady, I'm gonna break some of your furniture. Sorry about this. Ow. So it actually lost. Just a little longer than that. <laughs> Crane is good. Yeah, that's a lot of SP. Yeah, that purple shirt guy is 100% a Kike. Here we go. Miyoboy no ar kao ga de de kita na. Koitsu wa Akaike san, 30 sai. Kuroka gakuen no sotsuyo se da. I don't think she was expecting us to be able to kick ass. Yep, I mean, that's not that. Do you know, Yagami-san? Hey, they hurt you too, my dude. Shikai shi ni yubi otta li sun na yo. Sore yori, koko ni icha mada hoka ni mo o nakama ga osotte kuru ka mo shire nai. Hito mazu, anzen na tokoro ni basho kai yo. Mochiron, Mamiya san ni mo issho ni kite mo ra. え騒がずについてきてください。でないと、この動画がうっかり流出しちゃうか。<笑>ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、僕らが知るのかじゃこの場所が一番安全なんだもん頼れる仲間がいるっていいねそんなに長居しないって頼むよ東そういう問題じゃねえズーズーシーズーズーシーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズーズカイトさんが横浜で俺を刺されたんだよ。はあ、yeah. なんだとカイトの兄貴が誰に
まあその辺は俺らの話を聞いてりゃおいおいわかるから。Well, like、こちらはマミヤユイさん。さっきはメインボスの新しいゲームが起こったのは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、兄貴もなんだってあんな奴らに言われてるんだよ。人の武器は一つの大事だし、そろそろ本題に入る。マミヤさんも観念してるでしょ。私をどうするつもり知ってることを全部教えてほしいです。あなたをどう扱うかはその後で考えます。<笑> Walk out. <laughs> yep, it's the good. Oh, hey, I saw that. It's the good old, it's the good old judgment thing of hey, I'm just gonna go over here and do this sub story. <laughs> I said we were doing story, we're doing story. <laughs> also, where, where was it? It was about here, right? Yes, there you are. Nanda. Well, we jump, wait. もうさっさと終わらせて聞きたいことは何ミツロクスマオーズボリングビデオ。To be fair, we've been in a Jincho way more than Camarocho. We've been in Camarocho in two chapters. And for one of them, it was only half a chapter. In fact, for both of them, it was only half a chapter. Actually, I'd say chapter one's、uh, Kamurocho was even shorter than half. But yeah, we do, we do always end up back in Kamurocho. Even Kaito made that fact earlier. To be fair, our office is still here in Kamurocho. So? But I mean, why do you think the squirrel is just a bad guy? No, we don't know the squirrels yet. yet. 私たちもあんな隠し撮りされてたなんて知らなかった動画があるのを知ったのもすぐに公開されなかった理由を知ったのも学校を卒業したずっと後動画が公開されなかった理由は北方先生があれを公開しなかったのは I, I just wish we could go from camera to the same boy in real life for 400 yen 一生指導し続けるためえもし事件当時あの動画が世に出ていれば確かにそれはそれで大変だったでしょうね実際河合はネットで顔も実名もさらされて<笑>損害賠償を何千万とさせられてるし<笑>あんたたちも同じ目にあったのに多分私たちはそれを見つけた Or am I crazy about that? Kind of like a hover train or something like that, because they use like electric way of rails or something like that. Itska Hotobori got Sameru. Mada Kodomo dat dat de Kotode. Demo Sorewa. Akuma demo. Anotoki Suguni Doga ga Kokai Saretata no Hanashi. Ima wa sono toki to Jokyo ga Chigau de Koto? Atasiniwa. Chisa na Kodomo ga iru. Yasashi Otomo. Igokochi no i m a s h o m o <laughs> Can you get that train system? Yes, please. I'd love to see, I'd love to see、um, the US get a decent train system. The trouble is, I don't know how that would actually work. You would need something like a bullet train. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. So, this video is leverage. Kitaka Sensei is continuing to teach his former pupils. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good person. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good person. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good person. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good person. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good person. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good
そいつらもあんたと同じなんだ。あ、time uploaded to YouTube。あのいじめ動画を公開されたら、全部ぶち壊しになっちゃう。そうよ、わかる。要するに、あの先生は、私たちの未来が輝き出すのを待ってたの。ダメージが一番大きくなるタイミングを。What you're doing is thinking about yourself. I don't think you want your lesson at all. 連絡を取ってきたわけ。Oh. 動画に映っていた。クアナ is still an interesting one, mind you. クアナから連絡があったのはいつ五年前。Exactly, s c r e a m e x a c t l y 一緒に散歩してた時、公園で先生は私に声をかけてきた。昔とは別人みたいな暗い目をしてね。そして。その場で持ってたスマホに例の動画を再生してみせた。本当異常者。僕には動画に映ってたあんたらも。異常者に見えたけどね。本当にそう。似たようなことをあなたは絶対にやってない。Hey, baby baby face. 自分より弱い子に意地悪したことは。みんなと示し合わせて人を無視したことは。誰だってやってる。Yeah, but physically pushing someone to the point of suicide? たまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたまたクアナがあんたに動画を見せてきたのそれで思い出した白崎先生がカムロ町で調べてた件だがよんさっき名前の出てきた、yep. かわいしい、yep. yeah. <笑>あいつが知り合いの人たちが今まで連れ去られたのも5年前って話だったぞ yeah, did you do it? <笑> Can I step back into Yui Mamiya and the group's lives five years ago about around when Kawai was adopted? Meaning, yep. All the similarities to what's going on with Ihara. Koroshita? <laughs> 私たちは先生に河合がカムロ町にいると聞かされて力づくでも何でもいいからとにかく連れてこいと言われただけクアナはその理由を何て言ってたあいつと一緒に全員で心からの謝罪をしてほしいからってもし断ればあのいじめ動画が流出するそれでみんなで河合を迎えに行ったただあいつは先生のところへ行くのを嫌がった。かわいには別に、失って困るようなものなんてなかったから。あんたらにとってはそれじゃ済まない。ええ。だからだいぶ揉めて、結局は、車に押し込むみたいになっちゃって。カムロ町で目撃されたのは、yeah. その時のやりとりだったんだろうな。で、それ以来。河合は消息不明になってるわけだが先生が指定した場所は横浜の不当で私たちは、oh, そこへ河合を連れて一緒に精一杯頭を下げたそしたら先生は河合だけ残して、hey, yep. あとはもうみんな帰っていいってクアナと河合がそこで二人きりになったんだなそうそしたら次の朝、携帯に先生からのメールが届いてた。それにはなんて文面は何もなくて、ただ、動画がついてた。スマホで撮った。そこに映ってたのは、カムロ町で。クワナ、He is very good at this. 私たち。先生は、あの時の私たちをこっそりそばで隠し撮りしてたわけその動画にはみんなはっきり顔が映ってた河合が声を上げてたのを口塞いだり事情を知らない人から見ればほとんど誘拐
It still is, even if you know the story. もう。先生から。ずっと逃げられないんだって分かった。可愛が。死んでる写真だった。おお、ボーイ。その2通のメールを見たら誰だってこう思う。私たちが可愛いを車に押し込んだ後。<笑> それを殺したって。桑名にしてみればそれで完全にあんたらの弱みを握ったってことか。その時以来私たちはもうずっと先生の言いなりどんな要求も断ることはできなかった。何を要求された？あの人は。So <笑> you've got the Kurokawa group on one side. You've got Kuana. They've been forced to help Kuana kill people? This case is finally cracking wide open. Yeah. Kuana forcing them to murder people. And then you've got Soma on the other side who we still don't know about. This is going to be how the Mikushiba accident happened. Well, the accident, incident. Oh, Kuana, what the fuck? Soreo 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 Kuana, what the fuck? Is that why he turned up to Sao Sensei's house that night? Kanara the Sensei got Kuai Rareu. It's coming, I got s u r e n t i a t e o y o g s u k e o t e So s e b a だいに第三の蜜を未然に救えるかもしれないから。どうした だからあんたはそのアリバイのために時間被害者を演じた。私たちは直接殺しに手を下すことはしない。何かしら協力させられるだけ。標的を殴り出すとか死体を埋める穴を掘るとか。でも先生から受けた指示は絶対に拒めない。そんな真似したら可愛いを拉致する私たちの動画が警察に届
かもしれないただその前にもう一つ聞かせてくれる何カムロ調の RK ってハングレタチがクワナを持ってる yep, this is, this is the, this is the 今あんたから聞いた話のところにもあいつらは出てこなかったそして何でサワヨーコがマキコマレナキャンナラナカタ今あんたから聞いた話のところにもあいつらは出てこなかったそして何でサワヨーコがマキコそれは私もよくはわからないけどただ先生は半年くらい前にヨーコちゃんに電話で連絡を取ってる星稜高校で起きた自殺のことを聞くために星稜高校の自殺って江原敏郎君のやつだねあの件はもともといじめは関係なかったことになってたでしょ裁判でも学校に責任なしとされてたでも先生はたまたまそこの教師になってた陽子ちゃんから本当のところを聞き出したのそんな話をどうやって陽子ちゃんにしてみたら先生は自分と同じ立場だった教え子に自殺されちゃった点ではだから気を許して全部話したんだと思う、so、そしてそしてそれを聞いて先生は、yeah. やっぱりみこしばも罰しなきゃいけないやつだと確信を持ったじゃあ沢先生がその話をしてなければ江原も事件を起こしてなかった今偉人町で起きている一連の事件もかもしれないいやそうじゃない沢先生は桑名の正体も目的も知らなかった話のわかる昔の恩師に悩みをこぼしただけのつもりだった少なくともそれで殺されるような筋合いはなかったはずだ私たちが殺したわけじゃないから誰から非通知だもしもしよ俺が誰かわかるか桑名ヤガミクワナさあ,あ俺のことを探してるみたいだなあんた今どこだお前が一人で来るならすぐに会えるただその代わりマミやユイのことは解放してやってくれ何わかったあんたと会えたらその時解放するもちろんそれでいい<笑>ならすぐに来てくれ俺は今ヤガミ探偵事務所にいるよ。かんな。<笑>お前の椅子、なかなかの座り心地だな。閉じまりはしといたはずなんだけどね。いいか。俺が会うのはあんた一人だけだ。それと、あんまり待たせないよ。You can play on my master system until I get there, my dude. I got plenty of games on it. Play some Alex Kid if you want. 一人で会いに来いってさ。<笑>ちゃんと確認が取れたら、マミヤさんは解放していい。大丈夫なのヤガミさんだけで。たぶんクワナはどこから俺らを見てたんだ。<笑>ここにマミヤさんがいることも知ってたわけだからな。お前を連れてって、機嫌損ねたらまた消えられる。それだけは避けたい。そっか。<笑>まあこっちは任せとけ。それより、急いだ方がいいんじゃねえか I can't see this going any way other than badly. How you doing? h a y a k u i t a r a m o a t a s h i n i y o s u n d a d e s h o Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Ma, k o t c h o Ma. Alright, same thing. Goodbye. Boko, a Yagami Sankara, then. Okay, bye. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think there's any point putting the webcam back on. I thought this was an enemy standing right outside the door for a second. I was like, what? Because we're, we're going straight over there. Even though sub stories on the map, we are going straight over there. Here's my skateboard. Oh, wow. That, did you see that? That's interesting. Ooh. I don't think it's going to be useful in the speedrun because we don't go straight back there. But the ability to taxi straight to the high school from Camarocho? Hey. That's nice. That's very nice. Absolutely safety saving here. <laughs> Ten thousand percent safety saving. So this is the this is the road I was talking about. If we if we walk into people here, we'll fall off the board. But as long as you do that, for example, you'll be able to get past them quite easily. Can I can I look through the window? No. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, hey. Been a while. Yeah, so good. Ori, here. So, you know, Mami and Yuyo, can you help me? どうした？お互い歩み寄る気がないなら、ここで延々にらめっこが続くぞ。まあ、それも一興だけどな。もしもし、ヤガミさん。クワナに会えた。マミヤさんはもう自由にしていい。わかった。了解。世話をかけた、ヤガミ。まあ座ってくれ。さあ、です。あんたとはじっくり話したことがなかったな。カイトの具合はどうだ。あの人は順調に回復してるよ。けど、沢先生はもう帰ってこない。不可抗力だった。彼女が巻き込まれるなんて予想もできなかった。じゃああの日、あの人のマンションにいたのはなんでだ。RK の相馬はあんたを捕まえるためにあそこで網を張ってた。彼女が死ななきゃならなかった理由はあんたのせいなのか。どうなんだクアラ。俺のせいなら安心か。なんだと。自分が事件に首を突っ込んでなければ彼女は死なずに済んだかもしれない。お前は心のどっかでそう思ってんじゃないのか。Ooh, this guy. もしそうなら、それは違う。彼女を巻き込んだのは間違いなく俺だ。あの子が殺されたってニュースで知った時は、<笑>正直心が折れるかと思った。<笑>取り返しがつくものなら何だってやる。<笑>ただ俺の場合、それには何年も前に遡らなきゃならない。あんたがまだ教師だった時にか。ああ、俺は自分って人間が壊れる音を聞いた。それを味わった人間は良くも悪くも大きく変わる。お前ならわかるだろう。少し調べさせてもらったよ。昔お前は弁護士してた時、無罪を勝ち取ったんだな。でもそれがきっかけで。一人若い女の子が死んだ。Yo, is he trying to blame every time I was death on us? What the fuck? 俺もお前と同じだ。俺たちはお互い死ぬまで治らねえ傷を負った。<笑>そうかもね。俺にとってはそれが十三年前だ。クスモとミツルが飛び降りる前日、あいつがいじめにあっていると俺に知らせてくれたのがサワ君だった。それまで俺はそんな大層なもんじゃないと思ってた。少しいじりが過ぎただけ、男の子同士じゃれ合ってるだけ。That's why you fucked up, my dude. まあ確かに、カワイとミツルとじゃ体格差はある。だからそういう時俺はあんまりやりすぎんなよと。Just a prank, bro. Just kids being kids, yo. 俺が聞いた話じゃ薄笑いだった。ああ、同じことだな。そんな俺に沢くんはこう言ったんだ。先生、本当に気づいてないのってさ。まるで俺を憐れんでるような顔だったよ。彼女が言うには。クラスの半分近くがミツルをいじめてた。いつだったか、駅のホームでミツルを見たときは、今にも飛び込んじゃいそうだったって。今となっては勝手な思い込みだったが、俺は自分が子供たちに人望のある教師だって考えてたんだ。生徒の心は掴んでいると思ってた。ところが。サワ君の顔はそうじゃないことを俺に訴えていた。その日俺はいつものようにはうまく笑えなかったはずだ。だからひとまずは様子を見ることにした。次の日、俺は家にあったビデオカメラを放課後の教室に仕掛けたんだ
That's how he got the budding video. He had set it up himself to record the room remotely. Yeah, buddy. あいうのをおぞましいって言うんだろうな。ただし、俺がカメラを回収して中を見たのは、もう三鶴が飛び降りた後だった。本の一足違いだったんだよ。あいつはその日のうちに屋上から身を投げたんだ。翌日動画に映
あれも間宮優衣だったのかいや、あの日起きたことは全部沢君へのメッセージだったただいいやり方じゃなかったかもしれないああ多分沢先生はあんたがみこしば殺しに関わってると確信したはずだあの店で彼女が俺と待ち合わせしてたことはあんたしか知らなかったんだからいずれ沢君が俺を疑ったとしても警察に売ることはないと思ってた俺たちには教え子を自殺で失ったという同じ過去があるだから彼女には俺と関わりを持たないようにさせれば事足りたんだそれで終わりのはずだったん沢君が殺されることになったあの日彼女は俺にすぐ来てほしいと電話をかけてきた涙声でななぜ泣いてるのかなぜ会う必要があるのかを聞いても答えちゃくれなかったなのにのこのこ出向いていったのかあんたらしくもないお前は俺のことを何も知らないだろうんじゃああんたは沢先生からの呼び出しを受けてどうするつもりだったもし彼女が俺をみこしば殺しの犯人として疑いそれで思い悩んでいるなら全てを打ち明けてもいいと思っていた沢君になら俺のやっていることも全て理解できたはずだけど今にして思えばあの呼び出しは彼女が RK に脅されてやらされたことに過ぎなかった俺と電話してた時も沢君の部屋には連中がいたんだろう彼女が泣いていたのも俺の質問に答えられなかったのもそのせいだ RK は何であんたを追ってるんだわからない何それが分かってりゃこんな無様に逃げ回ってない本当か連中の動きが見えていないのは俺もあんたと同じだしかも奴らは人を殺すのをほとんどためらわないってことは多分 RK には何かでかい黒幕後ろ盾がついてるんだそれについては俺たちも同意見だ<笑>失礼ああこっちはまだ八神さんと一緒だそっちは杉浦君たちにつけられてないかはあおおゆいまみやったならすぐに合流しようマミヤ君からだおかげさまで無事に解放してもらえた杉浦君にはよろしく伝えといてくれまだあんたをどこにも行かせるつもりないよもうお前らは手を引けやがみ沢君のことも含めてあとは俺の方でやるそっちも引っ込みがつくようできる限りの説明はしたはずだここであんたに消えられるともう捕まえる手がなくなるんでねせめて連絡先ぐらいは置いてってもらわないとなそれには及ばない俺の姿はこれで見納めだいや、yeah. そりゃ人をなめすぎだチェイスタイムいやおぼいファッキンエルウォダウォダプロットポイントジーズスジーズ、いや、なぜ、なぜ、everything is like starting to come out。ガッダン。はい、haven't got that score yet。Where are we gonna end up is the question. Just stand around in the middle of the bloody street with it on their phones. So the truck one's always towards the trucks. Understood. 
That's a hell of a lot to take in. <laughs> We're on the other side of the track. It's kind of neat how they'd reuse that like that. And the bucket. <laughs> Done, Kuana. This is scripted. He's not dead yet. This is very scripted. Okay, in front of KJR. Hell yeah. Alright, let's see what goes on next. Uh, I was gonna say it's it's still going. Well, this is the car park where in Yaksa 6 Haraka was having that conversation with that one dude. Yeah, this game you actually use the catch button all the time. <laughs> it's, it's a miracle. He's in a car. Or fight time. This looks like it'd be a good fighting arena. Oh. Hey, it's that guy again. Mata Omaeraka. Nah, it's not the same place now. It might be similarly modeled, but... <laughs> it's, not like, it's not like the RGG will ever reuse assets at all. It's not like the RGG will ever reuse assets at all. It's not like the RGG will You should know this. You should know this, Nagami. Ah, Namaema de Shirale Chapter than Dana, Akaike. Don't <laughs> no one's got HP bars. Ow. Now I'm bleeding. Good. I'm assuming we're going to fight Kwana here. Because that's, that's a really weird low-key fight to end on. For sure. Who? Kwana or Yui Mamiya? Not happening twice. Nanda. Mata no? Mamiya san. <laughs> Had you really fucked up, you know that? Lady, you just can't help yourself, can you? Eyes the end of chapter, alright. 17% of the way through all the trophies. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Catch a tiger with a drop. According to the video game, we're sick. Nice! Nice! 
That's how far through the game we are. Nice. Kuana's life was destined to be ruined. He was forced to be a slave for his own sake. Not quite. Probably after this chapter. Nice. <laughs> Shut the game down. Can't play it again now. We're done. That's, that, that's it. It's, it's over at this point. <laughs> Don't want to find out the rest. I'm good. Guessing it's still a Kamurocho chapter, considering the uh, the background is Kamurocho Gate. Taking pictures of all your faces, dumbass. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the chat screens in this game are really, really cool. <laughs> お迎えが来たよ、マミヤさん。またさっきのゲーセンに戻るの？Hell <laughs> yeah. Ah. ブラムンなら一人だけ逃げた先生を恨むんだね。あ、ちょっとチェンジ<笑><笑> Hell yeah, let's go. なんか言ってた。白崎先生。クワナの正体やら目的やら教える単美にいちいち驚いてくれたぜ。ああ、東さんが調べたわけじゃないのに自分の手紙みたいに言ったわけ。ね、ヤガミさん。別に言って。Why do I feel like you guys she's got a crush on Sayori? I'm afraid she's taken by the baby. サオリさんからの依頼を片付ける。エハラの痴漢事件を全部はっきりさせんだ。マミヤさんにご協力いただいてさ。事件の事情を調査。じゃあ、白崎先生たち来るまでまだ時間あるでしょ。ヤガミさ
Immediately. Oh. No time waiting segment. Nice. Oh, I must have passed by in taxis. You just, well, did you just bump into me? So the guy that's Charles Yui Mami is gonna answer every single one of my questions. Boy, it's plot dump time. No new requests. Okie dokie. Oh, school stories biker gang progress and retreat from item box? Nani? Nani? Also, biker gang. Thanks for spoiling it. Video game. That's not, that's not a gang that we've got. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Thanks for the fucking spoilers. <laughs> secret of the tiger. Give me, my, give me my tiger secret and give me my bloody crane secret. Now all of my, all of my styles are going to be fast as fuck. Man. <laughs> fucking video game. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so that's the next one, yeah, probably. Or mm -hmm. get this it, say say. Say say. Masaka. Son that's more de it was you. Oh dad. Which no saudi kunga kokini saratanda. Don't I take because you're about to get fucked over, lady. I'm waiting for you, Yagami-san. I'm going to ask you about the crime of Rei. I'm going to ask you about the crime of Rei. Ah. And... I'm going to ask you about the crime of Rei. Really? She... Kuwana has been in the RK area. Oh, definitely make sure you stand and stretch, folks. Take it from the guy with the dead legs. Christ. Ah, <sighs> dear, dear. Not sure what's going to be on with my legs, by the way. Uh, we're just going to have to go back to the doctors on Monday and try and figure out where we go next. Because fuck knows. Fuck knows here. That's for sure. Hi! <sighs> あのさ、不適されんのはいいけど、ちゃんと聞くことに答えてよ。いや、ボイスをセッゲンドに。いや、ボイスをセッゲンドに。いや、ボイスをセッゲンドに。いや、ボイスをセッゲンドに。いや、
クアナはあんたに痴漢被害者を演じさせる。ですがエンドオブスクエンシー。ヒアーガン。電車であなたに痴漢したのはエハラさん本人ではなくその替え玉でした。他にも痴漢をでっち上げるために協力者がいたそう
もし江原が偉人町で神輿芝を殺したんならその後13分で池袋まで移動しなきゃならないはっきり言って無理だなんだそんなことんそのカードはあらかじめ先生が江原さんに借りて改札を通したのそして痴漢騒ぎを起こした後江原さんと入れ替わる時に素早く返したこれでどう江原さんの手には入場時刻の記録されたそのカードが残るでしょ改札の入場時刻までアリバイの小道具に言われてみれば単純なトリックですねただそもそも痴漢が殺人のアリバイに利用されるなんて誰も疑いませんああしかも裁判の時はまだ神輿芝が殺されたことを誰も知らずにいたからなやってくれるよまだ他に何か I'm guessing it's this one so that we can get the explanation about the,、uh, the blind spot. いいかなこれ。何なの駅の地図僕らで作った新宿駅の俯瞰図です。いやいやいや。よくよく調べてみると、防犯カメラだらけのホームにわずかな資格がありました。前にみんなで検討してたんだ。もし江原が三越芝殺しの犯人で、そのアリバイを駅で偽装してたとする。その場合、エハラは自分そっくりの替え玉に痴漢をさせた後、この資格で入れ替わることができたんじゃないかって。<笑>当たってたかな。参りました。とでも言えばいいの。その通りよ。そっちの勝ち。Yes. もう十分でしょう。Okay. So the 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 big old elephant in the room. あんたはこれを見てどう思うんだ His murder again, by the way. やめてよ。なんで目をそらすあんたはこれをアシストするために痴漢の被害者を演じたんだろうそうだけど。この動画は誰がネットに上げた先生、最初から江原さんに有罪判決が出たらネット上に公開するって言ってた。それも含めて。全部計画通りかそう先生はいじめ加害者に甘すぎる方が許せないそれは江原さんも同じ息子さんの自殺が原因不明で片付けられちゃった人だしだからあの人たちは今回の計画を立てたの法廷で証明された痴漢行為を殺人のアリバイにするしかもその時殺すのは罪に問われなかったいじめ加害者それでこれ見よがしに罪を逃れて見せたら世間はどう思う桑名と江原の本当の狙いは法を嘲笑ってやることかすると彼らの狙いはうまくいってるようですね<笑>法廷は警察まで巻き込んでみっともなく動揺してますからやっぱり江原は捨て身だったんだな自分の罪を逃れることは二の次で法を恥ずかしめるために痴漢の汚名まで来てみせたええ警官だった江原がそこまで思い詰めたんです息子に死なれたのに誰もその責任を取らず裁判所も臭いもんに蓋するような判決を出しただから桑名と一緒に動いた察するにあまりあったもんだええいいコンビだよね先生と江原さんはもう失うものがないから私たちだけがリスクに怯えて協力させられてる今もそうもう終わりにしてくれない八神さんもういいんですかああ十分だと思う、ね、痴漢に限って言えば江原は冤罪少なくとも検察の並べてる証拠は全部ひっくり返せることが分かった。Time to go back to court again. 法廷は意図的に誤審を誘導されてたんです。Do it, sorry. Do it. 控訴申立てに動こうと思います。控訴って言うと、痴漢の裁判をやり直す。That's where we'll blow the lid on the whole thing. ええ、そこで原や桑名のしてきた行動を誤、oh, yeah. った判決を誤った。I'm still wondering when the, um, 
The other detective in Jincho is going to be turning back up. Genda Sensei, what is the problem? Yeah, so much of this trial, the Ehara Honin is. We just want him to be guilty again, double guilty. Iran ni sono kiga na kya koso man te mo ni da. Oh, penguin da ni itsu ni koso mo shita tatte. That's a problem. Ehara ga so itsu tori saiki chimae wa. That's a big problem. Do you think he would say yes if I got him a box of donuts? Ehara to hanashita desu ne. Fucking love donuts. If somebody got me a box of donuts, I'd pretty much do murder for them. So this is. Then so we should be able to solve it. Tomorrow, we will meet at the police station. Understood. Oh boy, this is going to be a hard convince. Today, I felt ill. No. Everyone, thank you. Enjoy your sleep. I don't like donuts filled with cream or jelly. I just like plain ass ring donuts. Yo, Yagami. Yeah, her part in this is done. Oh, why? 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 I also want donuts now. It's fine. I don't have to go to the police. I don't have to leave my house. So, I'll be able to get him out of here. So, then that's what I'm doing. What are you doing here? Everyone's gone. Why are you so cold? I guess you were just hanging out. It's been a long time. I'm going to go home. What the fuck, dude? Wow. I have a good sleep. So go a chanto atama saget a tanum de kill. Gonna go with Sari Sandin view Hara tomorrow. Time to call it a day. God damn. What a what a fucking set of fucking everything. Jesus. I tend to go after the chaos of the mask right a while we're here, honestly. Just to do something that isn't heavy plot stuff for like five minutes. Good God. Like, holy shit. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of heavy, the heavy plot stuff. Hey, who that? A fight? Oh. I did it. Oh, it's Goto again. How did that? What the, the who the, the how the? I was late on my part. I'm surprised that works. You're giving up. <laughs> yeah, I love this one. <laughs> it's so good. Ah, oh, I lost the X action too late. That is so good, that one. That is so, so good. That was, yeah, that was one of the uh, surrenders for Snake. You actually get uh, multiple. So it's not just like the one, you actually get to do multiple of them. So. Alright, where's, where's that guy? He's not in the sexy club. You can't even access the sexy club in this game. No sexy club. Not cool. Ah, hello, right here, huh? And then on the top floor is everybody's favorite minigame ever. Not being fish, I actually quite like this. So why are you standing here and not behind the desk? Is 
So you should be back there. So you should be, sir. Here. What? Why? Why is he? <laughs> he'll he'll find his way back eventually. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Hello there, my dude. This is Kaz Kazuto Jumonji's office, so maybe it's him. Might you be Yagami-san? Hey. Yes, Takuki Yagami, and you must be. Shh. Please just call me Okazaki while we're out here. You never know who might be listening. Very true. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Arato Okazaki. That's my real name, in fact. So this is the face of the master writer. He's younger than I thought. Well then, Yagami-san, before we enter my workspace, I want you to promise me something. That you won't tell anyone what you're about to see. Hmm? I'm about to see? Very well. My lips are sealed. This way, please. People mm -hmm. and PCs? What is this? This is the true identity of Kazuto Jumonji. I'm not sure I understand. All the works of Kazuto Jumonji are written by the ten of us here, including myself. In other words, Kazuto Jumonji isn't one person, he's a group of authors. Eh? Wow, a whole group? Really? <laughs> Actually, 100 monkeys on typewriters. That's exactly what it's like set up as, isn't it? So that's how you write books in so many different genres at such an impossible pace. Yep, it's all due to the efficiency of ten talented authors of different personalities all writing at the same time. Wouldn't that make the books pretty messy? Pretty neat trick. Oh, so this is a detective. Kamurocho detective is that, but he has a lot of good stories. Hmm, curious. Please have a seat, Yagami-san. Allow me to explain our request to you. Oh god, he actually, they want us to t say like what's happened in previous sub-stories, don't they? Jesus. Beanie's falling off my head. <laughs> it's a real surprise. So many people writing as one person. Yeah, I don't know of other groups like us, that's for sure. But truth be told, each one of us is a failed author. I mean, we all had a publishing debut, but never any success beyond that. Each of us nearly gave up our pens for good. Huh. So how did you come to work together? How else? Through social media. I launched an online community. I ended up attracting a bunch of failed authors. And for our exchanges, we came up with the idea of joint authorship. So we tried it, and it worked. Naruhodo. It's interesting. And I hear your first effort was a smash hit. Oh yes, it was a masterpiece that none of us could have written on our own. It exists only because the ten of us worked on it together. Some of us come up with clever twists, some of us are good at dialogue, and some of us are awesome at building plot. Where each of us may be lacking in one area, together we can be a great author. Dokoro de. Still, it doesn't seem possible for 10 people to write a coherent book. Hollywood movie scripts are often written by multiple people. It just depends on how you divvy it up. What's more, by managing the workload of each member, we can even work on multiple titles simultaneously. Hmm. So as long as you do it right, this unique creative process ends up pretty productive. Exactly. And any writer could do what we're doing. And I'm in charge of managing the members' schedules. Which is something I'm great at. I used to be an editor, you know. Former editor, huh? Well then, time to ask some questions. Mm. <laughs> also known for their own style, your announcing would work IRL. Like, the, the thing that I think of is that if you have, like, more than one person working on a book, like, you can probably get away with, say, two people, maybe three at a push, but it would also be, it would still be pretty, pretty tight. Um, I don't think you could really get away with that in real life, because, like, Unless you had a really, really good editor, like, you would- you'd see the glaring differences, like, in writing passages, surely. Like, surely. Well, there's some of your ideas for Plague Drives. What can you tell me about that? Okay, so it was about half a year ago. We're in the midst of polishing a manuscript we had just finished. A new mystery novel came out, and it immediately became a hot topic because of this one trick which was depicted in the story. Two seconds. Something's bit me in the leg. Must have. Now, the thing was, it was nearly identical to the manuscript we were polishing. Somebody. So another author beat you to the punch. Yes, and when we published ours later, we were accused of plagiarism. Sort of Any chance it was a coincidence? That the contents just happened to be similar? That's pretty hard to imagine. Because it wasn't just the trick I mentioned earlier. It was also the setting, the structure, even the character traits. 
they're all almost exactly the same. Mm. So too many similarities for it to be mere coincidence. Well, if there are dozens of them like that, you can only say it was a coincidence if there had been one thing. What the readers saw could definitely not be called a coincidence. Alright, I get it. And it wasn't just that one book that plagiarised us. The same author put out three more books after that, in succession. All of ideas that were just like ours. Should I ask about the author that's plagiarising them? Boop. Tell me about this author you think is stealing your ideas. His name is Su Sugoroku Futaba. His first novel was published more than ten years ago. It was a decent hit at the time. He even won an award in some mystery novel contest. But after that, his book seemed to go nowhere. That's not the same as the author guy in the first game, is it? People said he was just a one-hit wonder. Mm. Then all of a sudden, that one-hit wonder came out with a new book that turns into a famous bestseller. I can't remember the name of the author guy in the first game. Right? And that book was nearly identical to one of ours we had yet to release. So one after the other, Mr. Fataba continued to publish books that closely resembled what we were working on. All them bestsellers. Now people think he's made this miraculous comeback. I mean, if you're so suspicious of this guy plagiarizing you, why not just sue him? I didn't think about that. But if we took this to court, we might have to reveal the secret of Kazuto Jumonji. I think it'd be hard for us to tell the truth in court while also hiding how we write, don't you? Mm. Yeah, it probably would be. You know, it could be that the author is fully aware that you've had us taken to court, and that's why he steals from you. If that's true, it would be completely infuriating. Ugh, unforgivable. Okay. You already asked the other detectives looking at this matter. Yes, they've been free. So what kind of investigations did they conduct? Oh, they looked for ways to hack us and whether our room was bugged. They tried really hard, but couldn't find anything. Huh. None of them came up with anything. Nope. And yet, our ideas kept being stolen. You really don't wonder how in the world it's being done. It's going to be a tough nut to crack if the pups already evaded three different detectives. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. That's all very useful information you've provided. I know. I'd like to proceed with this investigation by collecting even more info. Is it alright if I interview the other authors too? Yes, please do. I've already asked them to cooperate with you. That's great. I appreciate that. I wonder... Alright, time for a thorough recall mission. John G is because Jew... Jew is, um... 10, right? And then is Mon... Is Mon part? Am I crazy? I know. Excuse me. Hello. Hee hee hee. This is going to be a masterpiece. I'm a genius. What's the matter? He couldn't get into the zone. He can't hear anything. Talking to him right now won't do you any good. Huh. Oh, yeah? He's so skilled at flashing out characters, he just really breathes life into them. Hee hee hee. This guy's going to be awesome. And he'll provide a foil to the protagonist's weakness to boot. Nice. Who knew the hero had this side to his character? It's like finding gold in the river. Hee <laughs> hee. He does look absolutely full of life while he works. Honestly, he's a character himself. To be unable to hear anything? That's another level of focus. So basically, he's going to focus so hard that somebody's basically going to steal the ideas from him because he doesn't know they're there. As you do. I know. He was 10, man. It's 10k. Mm. Hey, excuse me. I'm a detective. My name is Yagami. Can I ask you a few questions? Oh, Yagami-san. Okazaki-san told me about you. I'm Takashi Hon Hojo. Takashi Hojo. In the world of Kazuto Jumonji, I do the science and military research, plus security for the office. I'm Ayumi Sato. I research Western mythology and civilization. You might say I'm the fantasy buff, too. You're here to look into any spy activity, aren't you? Yagami-san, we've been taking measures against spies ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah? What kind of measures? We set up hidden camera to catch anyone who tries to sneak in. We actually already had a security camera, but we felt one wasn't enough. After all, we were still getting our information stolen. And we've locked doors, too. At this point, we figured we just gotta outsmart the perpetrator. So there was nothing in the security footage? Nope. And no evidence of a break in either. And still, information was getting stolen. It still is. So flipping weird. I feel like this is gonna be a who done it. Is there any anti hacking measures? Of course, with so many leaks, we started keeping our writing computers offline. Well, that sounds like a good move. Any chance of a leak coming from memory devices would get taken outside? I doubt it. We shouldn't inhibit anyone from moving devices like USB memory sticks. I remind people of that all the time, too. I haven't gone so far as to search their bags, though. I don't feel the need to do that. At the end of the day, we trust our members. No chance of information being leaked and low chance of any burglaries. Okay, I'll give you a cooperation. Hmm. Hmm.
Oh, excuse me, fuck hell. I know. Can I ask the rest of you some questions? Ooh, Mr. Detective on the pra- Amikuri Machiyama, by the way, author of many a cell phone novel. You know, books originally written on the phone. I thought she was that one sub-story from the first one, the uh, the lover guy at first. Yagami this. Oh, interesting. I'm Takuki Yagami, nice to meet you. And Takari Ayuhama, or Hamahara, I may not look it, but I used to be a screenwriter for The Dunce, the period drama. Yeah, I wrote episodes 5 through 7. You remember that priest joke Nubinaga tells? Well, I... Hey, Harasan, maybe let's save the tour of your career minute for later. I'm back to Nishimura, and since we're sharing, I was mostly a light novel author. So, you here to ask us something? Hey. I wonder if any of you have seen anything suspicious. Uh, anything suspicious? No, I can't think of any. Me neither. Hmm. Well, actually, there is one thing I noticed. I think Mikuru Chan changed the shampoo recently. Huh? Excuse me? Could it be you found someone special, Mikuru Chan? Mm hmm, hmm. Hey, Harasan, please, enough with the near sexual harassment. <sighs> hey, by the way, is this a meeting space for you all? Yes, it's a nice place to get refreshed. Especially because talking to young women can be so exhausting. I wish you wouldn't talk so about this space like it's some dumb cabaret club. We haven't used the space for actual purposes, like idea meetings, and yes, even some random chit chat at times. That's so true. We do lots of amazing brainstorming here. Okay, so you all bounce ideas off each other in here. Oh yeah, Kazo Jumonji wouldn't exist without those brainstorming sessions. We share our ideas, we play to each other's strengths, and we polish everything up for each other. In fact, we're, we're doing that right before you started asking your questions. And we'll go right back to it when you're done. Where are you? Any chance these brainstorm sessions take place at the same time every day? Yeah, why not? Why do you ask? If details of your work are being discussed, the sessions are a chance for someone to eavesdrop. And it would be even easier if you guys meet at the same time daily. Hmm, you get on something there. Well, deduction. Well, not I deduced myself. I always thought this place is bugged. But it can't be. Don't you remember? They never found any evidence of that. Yeah, since three detectives already came and didn't find anything, it probably wasn't a bug. If these guys are having regular idea meetings, surely a plagiarist would see them as an opportunity. Hmm. 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 This is absolutely gonna... Not a fucking gunshot? What the? Is that a gunshot? Uh, not again. That was probably the damn neighborhood pranksters. Yep. Pranksters? Yeah, just a bunch of local kids lighting up firecrackers and making trouble. Probably playing cops and yakuza. You guys remember the last time we heard firecrackers? It was when another detective was here. That detective also thought it was a gunshot. Hehe. <laughs> Not surprising, it sounds like that like that makes people think of gang warfare. Even with the Tojo clan gone, this is still Camarocho. Firecrackers? Last heard when a previous detective was here? That's interesting. Also important. Very important. Hmm. I want the item. Thanks. How are you? Who are you? Get off the phone, damn it. Looks like she's on the phone. See, I can't make it, huh? Alright. Well, get some rest. Bye. Sigh. Oh, hello. Yagami this. Yagami's the name. I'm a detective. I'm Remy, Mac Remy Makita. I'm in charge of the love stories, mostly. Uh, sorry you heard that. A bit embarrassing for me. Yeah. No, I apologize. Didn't mean to was wrong. I was talking to Masamichi Ichinose, one of the other members of Kazuto Jumonji. Mm -hmm. He's not coming to work today? No, he's kind of fickle. Has a habit of feeling down, so he's absent pretty often. He likes to come in out of the blue and surprise us. I need to take off for another two months. So that, uh... Does he have an actual illness? Perhaps the kind of illness that makes you play games in your room all day. Ah. Don't want to be an adult syndrome. Or, as I like to call it, Twitch streamer. なるほど. I see, that sounds difficult to deal with. Sure is, but he's got the talent. Comes up with ideas nobody else could. Fresh world views, mind-blowing plot devices. He's good at unpredictable twists, too. If only he weren't so... unstable. Sometimes he can be in a slump for half the year. Mm. Maybe that's just how geniuses are. I don't know. I wish we could have a stable genius. Uh, anyway, I'm sort of his caretaker, for some reason. But I can't criticise him. If I were to ever chide him, even a little, he'd go into a slump. What a handful. I can see why you're having a hard time. Excuse me. Hmm. 
Maybe that's all of them. Now let me step back and figure out exactly what I know now. And spit on myself. That's part of the creative process. Again, sorry for... Oh. You know, that would have helped. I was going to say, sorry for my hernia uh, acting up today. I have no idea uh, what's causing my hernia to act up. And it's definitely not because I forgot to take my hernia medication this morning. <laughs> How are things going, Yugami-san? Did you find anything? Yeah. No, nothing decisive yet. There's only one way I can think of for the book ideas to leak. I suspect it's not because of an outsider. But should I tell o Okazaki? If he cares for me to make claims about any evidence. Where are they? Okazaki-san, are you sure there's only one member absent today? I see only eight people here. Oh, really? Who's missing? I think Sadakun went up to the roof. Yeah, it's him, alright. Because I don't see him. Okay, so he went up to the roof. That's fine, I'll talk to him later. We actually gonna get to use the roof of this building for once in our lives? Holy shit, we're actually gonna get to use the roof of this building for once in our lives. This has been accessible since Yakuza 6 and never ever used for anything. And yet now we're actually using it! Hey, my dude. Nice turtleneck. We gotta give you some, right? Hey. Yeah, I'm going around asking everyone questions. Can I count on your cooperation too, San san Questions? Of course. I'm happy to cooperate. My name is Kenichi Sanada. I'm in charge of structuring in Kazuma Ujimonji. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by structuring? It's like drawing a blueprint of the story. I make adjustments to the ups and downs of the drama. And I set up the foreshadowing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I kind of understand, but not really. Okay, for example. Changing the order of the episodes will make a character's backstory stronger. Little tweaks like that can make a big difference in how fun and readable the story is. So my role is to keep a bird's eye view on the whole story to analyze where we can make these improvements. なるほど. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. ]ところで... So, Sander san have you noticed anything suspicious around the office lately? Suspicious? Actually, yes. Eh? Oh, really? Can you tell me about it? What's going on? Where's he hesitating? I should press him a bit. Sander san could you tell me what you saw that was suspicious? I'm not eager to share. It's not exactly something I want another person to know. Detective is bound to confidentiality. It's something we ball bust people. I won't share anything you tell me you tell me with anyone. Fair enough, I'll tell you. I'm gonna be totally straight with you, Yagami san. I suspect one of the ten writers is a spy. <gasps> eh? Gasp. I believe someone on the inside is selling our ideas to someone on the outside. I can't say I wasn't thinking about that possibility. But, I know. Sander san is there a reason or any evidence that leads you to believe that? I have no evidence, but I do have a concrete basis for my belief. The truth is, a few members of Castle Jumonji are thinking about going independent. You mean start over as single authors again? Yes. They must have finally regained their confidence because of all the hits we've had as Castle Jumonji. Now they think they can go out on their own and write books that will actually sell. Daga. So why don't they just do it instead of selling ideas to an outsider? What's the point of that? Well, we're in a situation where... Hmm, what should I explain first? The members of Kazuto Jumonji have signed a contract that prohibits them from going independent for at least five years. A five-year contract? It's pretty long. Well, the whole intent of the contract was that each of us would focus all our energy on Kazuto Jumonji. In exchange for accepting the severe restrictions, we'd all receive regular royalties. You don't have that type of thing as a single author, where you're at risk of enduring long moneyless periods in the publishing schedule, as well as your own slumps. Mm. See, that's another benefit of working in a group with other authors. I must admit, this this sub story makes me kind of like like remember my feelings of like I don't know how the hell anyone makes it as an author. Like Like I know I'm not I'm not into as I'm not into books as much as I was like back when I was in my teens, but like to be able to stand out as an author when Especially in this day and age, when there's so many, like, easy access to stories, like the internet and stuff like that. Like, just how the heck do you do it? Like, it must be an insanely competitive field. Like, how do you, how do you get seen? How do you get seen for the style of your writing? Like, I respect anybody that manages to make it work, honestly. Yeah, it's a huge benefit, one which would disappear after independent from Kazuto Jumonji. Remember we envisioned all the works by Kazuto Jumonji to remain the property of Kazuto Jumonji, the corporate entity? 
So that makes it hard to strike out on your own. Yes, but if Kasu Jumanji were to break up completely, that would be a different story. The contract stipulates if such a thing were to happen, each author would continue to receive an equal share of the royalties. So here is what I now believe. One of the authors, wanting to be independent, is selling info to someone on the outside, just to make us suspicious of each other. This author is trying to bring about the breakup of Kazuto Jumonji. And this is why you think the suspect has to be someone on the inside. He knows too much. It's clearly him. I do. I'm not entirely convinced. It might have made sense, at least. I know. So who are the members who want to become independent? I'm sorry. Even after all I've just told you, I can't bring myself to sell out my co-workers. Mm. I understand. They're going to be sounding like the work we do as Kazuto Jumonji. I don't think I could make it on my own. A breakup is something I desperately want to prevent. So I hope you can use your investigation to shine a light on the truth. I get it. You leave the rest to me. Thank you. Hmm. Lock and connections, probably. Yeah. Same same way that you make it on Twitch, honestly. It's just a pretty complex this little group of authors known as Kazuto Jumonji. Are you done talking Sandakun? Hey. Yep. We finished up just now. You know, Yagami-san, there was one thing I neglected to tell you. It might turn out to be nothing, but... Tell me. Something trivial could turn out to be a clue in the investigation. Well, it's about an odor. Mm -hmm. An odor? Yeah. The authors have been complaining about a strange smell lately. It wafts in from nowhere and disappears before we can track it. What sort of smell is it? I would say oily. It smells like oil. Almost like if you left out some meat for a while. That kind of oily, rancid smell. I wouldn't know. I genuinely would not know. It never comes during meals, and there's never trash or anything on the floor, so I just don't know where it could be coming from. Yeah, pretty puzzling. Sorry, this probably has nothing to do with your investigation. Yeah. No, no. All hints are valuable. I'll start paying attention to any smells in the air. Ha, I hope there are more good ones than bad. Hmm. Time to get detective, dog. Mysterious odor. Could it be? Could it be? Indeed. I don't know why I'm saving here. I just felt like it. It's been almost an hour, I suppose. Good old safety saves. Can't go wrong with a safety save. This is the Mahjong floor. I may be projecting. Please feel free to look around the office. I already told the office to keep out of your way. Damn right. I'm say dog. Dog. Alright, time for a good look around. The most interesting location is the meeting space where they exchange their ideas. The bugs or water tops ever found there, but maybe they missed something. What time is it right now? 2am. 1. 1, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Damn. That's that's a record. Um, I had dinner at 5 p.m. My hernia is very currently trying to throw up undigested food. This is the problem with my hernia sometimes. Um, this is the reason why I'm struggling at the minute is because I have essentially about so to to talk about my hernia a little bit to uh, for those who don't know. I have a sliding gate hiatus hernia. So everybody's got a flappy bit on your esophagus. My flappy bit does not work and it stays closed or it opens up randomly. I choke on air, I choke on I choke on water, I choke on food. Now the trouble with this other hernia is that it also means that my food doesn't digest properly. It's why I can't eat five hours before I go to sleep. Because when I go to sleep, I'll just hurl up in my sleep, and that happens more often than I like to admit. So there are some days, like today, clearly, probably because I forgot to take my medicine this morning, but there is undigested food that is currently about here in my chest, trying to force its way up. And the trouble is, once it gets up a certain a certain bit to, like, my throat, my esophagus decides to tighten itself, and it won't let the food back down. That's what I'm currently struggling with. Like, there's, there's just a big lump of undigested food in my chest and my throat somewhere that's just... I can feel I can feel the lump. It's like right around here. And it's just not going down. That's that's the problem I'm having right now. So thank you for being patient, because like just then it was trying to force its way out. Which mm -mm. Serious odor. What could it be? When it comes to smells, I know just who to call. Ladies and gentlemen. Here he is! What a good lad. 
Human body sucks. My body fucking sucks so much at the minute. My legs are still completely fucked. What's up, dog? What's going on? Oh, we found boy. We found boy. Cigarette. Why did he be so happy? Such a good Wait a minute. Oh, I want to take pictures of the dog. You want to take pictures of the dog? Off, off, off. Hmm? What? Are oh, the cigarette butts bothering you? I uh, know. Exactly, Sam. You are now smoking in this office? That's rare these days. Yeah, some of the authors say they can't come up with ideas unless they smoke. They could just go up to the fucking roof. Well, where most offices ban smoking, but this is as, so we're pretty lax about it. Literally, two floors. Have you thought about what the people who don't like smoking feel like? No? Of course, non-smokers aren't crazy about it. Naruhodo. I get it. Is that also why you have the window open in December? Yes, the ventilation system never lets enough fresh air inside. You have a ventilation system? Oh, I, you know, I guess. Mikuru-chan, the young lady, opens the window at the start of every meeting. And then the authors smoke while we all talk. Wouldn't so your voices leak outside? Isn't there a risk of someone overhearing? I doubt it. I mean, we're on the third floor. Besides, not that loud. And the next building over is some distance away. Why, well, he really doesn't worry about that. Okay, I think I'll look around the windows anyway. Alright, detective dog. Oh, detective, detective dog's found a smell. What is it, boy? Something nearby? He does not like windowsills. Understood. <laughs> okay, let me see what's going on. Yeah, it said, it said December... I think it said December this year, 2021. So we're currently in the future. That's a stain. Hmm? That's a fly. Hello. Hmm? Hmm? What are these stains? You trying to show me these stains, huh? I wonder what they are. They look like bird poo. <laughs> More stains above the window, too. Weird. <gasps> it's coming from the Mahjong parlor. Sanctimony. Hmm? What's this? Looks like animal fur. Detective dog. What have you been doing? Why is this here? I think we're gonna have to go up to the uh, the Mahjong parlor. What were you thinking? You're not supposed to take data home. But we're closing in on the deadline. Come on, just this once? No way. I've told you so many times. You know how ideas are being leaked, don't you? Of course I know. You're not showing data to anyone, are you? What do you mean? You were saying the other day how you can make it on your own now. What? I don't want to believe it, but... Come on, you two. Stop arguing. Hmm. Ah! Yakumi-san. Mm. Looks like your fears have come true, San of the San. The officers have all gotten suspicious of each other. I haven't been able to trust them myself. Maybe the perpetrator really is among us. That's sus. In any case, no more time to waste. I'll have to speed up my investigation. And two strange pieces of evidence I found. The animal fur and the smelly stains. This man is really strong too. Maybe we should get Rampo to sniff out its sauce. Come, boy, oh let's no go play some mahjong. Da. Don't hit the door on the way. Nanny the fuck? Da. Woof, woof. Huh? Does he want to go outside the room? I have the little, mm -hmm. the little flashlight on the on the lead because it's nighttime. I'm going to go to the rooftop or something up there. I wonder what it could be. And one way to find out. Having a flashlight on the lead like that for nighttime walks is actually kind of clever. Holy shit, we're actually using the rooftop. It's a miracle. Seems like he knows the way. Well, to be fair, there's only one way you can go here. Let's go, dog. Thanks for the cloudy paint. Also, again, don't forget, with Doggo out, you get double materials. Good stuff. Oh, you found boy. What's this? A cat food can? What's this doing here? This must be what caused the stains at the office. And those stains could be emitting the smell. Huh. Sadakun, do you suspect your own teammates as well? I think there is a possibility. Or rather, it's the only possibility left after the process of elimination. What are you saying? We shouldn't keep turning a blind eye, Okazaki-san. We should confront the facts and expose the perpetrator. Before Kazuto Jumonji implodes from within. 
Sad, Adrian. Are you saying... I'm saying a cat did it. Oh, Yagami-san. So I understand? I mean, you can hold off on your big confrontation until you hear the results of my investigation. Huh? Did you find something? Yeah. Yes. I think I've figured out the suspect's unique strategy. Really? Two stains in the office. The animal fur and the can of cat food. The window that always opens during their idea meetings. And then there's the reason detectives couldn't find any wiretaps or hacks. If I combine all these things, I've got enough evidence to expose the truth. I'm going to deduce the suspect's identity and how they did it based on the evidence. Firstly, the method by which the suspect was stealing information was... Uh... Looking in. Probably by looking in through the window. What? Like a peeping Tom? How could someone do that on the third floor? Suspect was likely watching from another location and reading your lips to figure out what was being discussed. Well, that sounds a little.